If Jesus came to your house to spend a day or two, if he came unexpectedly, I wonder what you'd do. When you saw him coming, would you meet him at the door with arms outstretched in welcome to your heavenly visitor? Or would you need to change some things before you let him in, like maybe burn some magazines and put the Bible where they'd be? Oh, I know that you'd give your nicest room to such an honored guest. And all the food that you would serve to him would be the very best. And you'd keep assuring him that you were glad to have him there. That serving him in your home was joy beyond compare. But would your family conversation keep up its normal pace? And would you find it hard each meal? To say a table grace Would you be glad to have him meet your very closest friends Or would you hope that they stayed away Until his visit ends Would you take him with you Everywhere that you'd plan to go Or maybe change your plans Just for a day or so Would you be glad to have him stay forever On and on Or would you sigh with great relief when finally he had gone. You know, it might be interesting to know the things that you'd do if Jesus came in person to spend some time with you. What would you do? What would you do? Spend some time with you. All right, praise the Lord, and welcome into the special program tonight, the Gospel Music Jude Box. Hey, I'm your host, Evangelist Brother Eddie Cheney. Man, we've got a treat for you tonight. Right after this song, we're going to be, uh, well, we'll just, we'll let you hear from them just in a moment, but we do have some live guests with us tonight, and I'm telling you, your socks are going to be blessed right off your feet when you hear some of these testimonies that's going to be shared tonight, my friend. Hey, God's not dead. He is alive and lives forevermore, my friend. I pray today that if you don't know Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, that today is your day. Today is the day of salvation. Reach out. Take a hold of that unchanging hand of the great I am. Be blessed, and we'll be right back. All of my life I've wondered and sinned, and I wouldn't let my dear Savior in. Then like a blind man who just got back his sight, God bless. All right, I've got some special guests with me tonight, and I'm going to let them just introduce themselves. We'll start with the gentleman. Well, let's start with the lady first. Ladies are yeah, first, ladies. right? So let's let let's just introduce yourself. Tell us who you are, where you're from, and all that good stuff. This is Sister Terry, live from the Gospel Jukebox. 
want to wish everyone a blessed evening. I'm from Coolville, Tennessee, and I am a child of God. Hey, man. Thank you, sis. Go ahead, brother. This is Brother Bobby Bohannon, her husband. Yeah, I'm stuck with that. <laughs> but we're up here with Brother Eddie. We're going to try to do a show tonight. Hope everybody out there listening. Don't forget to call in. Now, you can call in and might even want to talk to Miss Terry there or me or Brother Eddie. But call in and get that phone ringing. We love each and every one of you. All right, praise God. I told you tonight now is a special program, amen. Let me get my announcement right up front, right to you, right here, uh, amen, and so we can move along with uh, testimonies and things like that. Uh, sorry to say, Brother Bobby, tonight they can't call in live. Oh, they can't call in No, we live. don't have okay. that. That phone is dead, and uh, that Internet server is, well, we fired them. <laughs> Frontier got fired. Uh, we fired them. We called them. Tried to work something out. They they came out. Worked on the internet line the other day. Made it worse. Then it went plumb out. I called them back, and uh, the customer service department was actually talking to uh, somebody else while I was trying to explain the problem. So I just asked her. I said, "You don't. You don't. You're not listening to what I'm saying." Yeah. And she she tried to apologize. She said, "Well, I'm sorry, but I had to talk to somebody here about some other things." And I'm like, "What is your job?" Why did you answer the phone? You should have finished that conversation and then took my call. But I said, here's the way it lays with me. God's money's important, and uh, I really believe that she was rude and unreceptive, and they were not delivering what they promised to me uh, as far as service quality. So I told him, I said, look, if you don't think my little bit of money's important, it'll spend somewhere else. Right. So we're probably, uh, that's what this announcement I got to say is about tonight. We're looking for five rocks, and you're going to understand what I'm saying just in a moment. Five rocks is just like little David, and I feel like little David sometimes here all alone, you know, trying to get this out, and then I got you guys calling in the backbone, you know, the prayer warriors. You guys are awesome to do that from your homes. That's pretty awesome, you know, but but uh, I thought, man, I got I to gotta get me five rocks, and when I'm talking about rocks, I'm talking about five people that want to sell out to Christ and be a part of the Gospel Music Jukebox radio program. And here's what we're going to do. We're praying about going uptown, finding us a building. We're going to rent the building for the Gospel Music Jukebox radio station. That's what it's going to be. It ain't church. It's going to be where I do the radio station from. But here's the good part. We can get better internet, we're hoping. And the second part is we're going to open every night service for church. I'm going to be inviting all the local pastors and even you, the listeners, to come and just obey God. And people can come from uh, from 8 o'clock till 11 o'clock. We're just going to get in there and worship God. We're going to open the doors to the public right there wh wherever I'm at, whether it be Cookville, Crossville, or uh, what's some of these surrounding counties. i got to be about an hour drive. I can't get over that because the time I get off work, i got to get there to get it open up. But what I'm looking for is five rocks. See, five rocks means $100 a month. You understand? That's five people. That's $500 a month. I ain't depending on the crowd. I ain't asking an offer, and we're not going to take up no money. I'm asking for five rocks, five people that sold out to Christ that says, God, you pray, that says, God told me to help you do this gospel music jukebox radio program. Five rocks, $100 a month. You can be there in Alabama. If God tells you to be one of my rocks, then you're going to call me, and I'll be giving you the number. Uh, you can call the testimony line. As a matter of fact, that's the only phone that uh, that is working right now. And that's 931-229-0768. You call that line. The first five rocks is what I'm taking. Or come to see me in person. Um, you know, if you live here in the area or you're on the way, say, hey, I'm a rock. And I'm going to be a part of that. And you got now. Now, listen, I'm mad enough to tell you that means a hundred dollars a month every month because we're giving our word to pay the landlord. We're going to rent the building till we build one. I'm going to build a radio station. You understand? That's the vision. I'm putting it into motion. I've got to get Internet service. I ain't getting it out here. And by the way, this may go off the air at any time. It did earlier when I was doing the program this morning, Bible Study 101. It, it's liable to kick off. for It'll stay off for about an hour, and then it comes back on. Spirit Broadband ain't no better than Frontier. 
out here at Wind Ridge Estates. It's no good. We cannot rely on their services to broadcast daily. So we've got to go to where we can get it out daily because God said to. But five rocks is what we're looking for. If you're one of them rocks in Kentucky, Alabama, Georgia, God tells you, hey, I'm going to give $100 a month. I believe in what the Gospel Music Jukebox radio program and Evangelist Eddie Cheney is doing. Hey, we, we're talking about being the church, not talking about the church. We're talking about helping people when they need help. We give them rides to the daughter. We do Just check out our Facebook page, Evangelist Eddie Cheney, and that... You pray. God will tell you everything about me. You may have heard all kinds of things about me, but if you want to know the truth, you pray, you ask God. If God tells you to be one of the rocks, I'm only looking for five. You see, five, five rocks. I need five. You understand? That's what I, that's what the Lord told me. Five little rocks, and we're going to, it's only going because we're going to all be one. See, and it only takes one to kill the giant. It only took one. But all five going to unite and be as one, and the gospel music jukebox is going to be a solid foundation. It's not dependent on people coming in and giving offerings or tithes because we we're, not, we're not like that. We're not going to ask that. We're not going to pass an offering. We encourage and tell people like we're telling you to obey God. If God tells you to sow into this ministry with money, time, tapes, CDs, cassettes, your preaching sermons, we've made every door available. We want you to be a part of this program if God tells you to be. Now, if God don't want you to be, hey, obey God, maybe we can help you. Yeah. Let us know how. Tell us how we can help you. And we want to be a part of what God's doing in these end days. Now, if you want to be a part of the Gospel Music Jukebox radio program, you pray, and if God tell you to be a rock. Now, I'm taking the first five. God said the first five that came. That's what he told me. That may take me a year to get five. I don't know. It may take one night. It may take two days. I don't know, but I'm leaving that in the hands of God. And uh, But as soon as the five rocks are in place, the money's in hand, we're going to rent a building. While we're working on a building here on the property, I'm going to build a, a studio, and we're going to have the satellite on top of that studio and then we'll be at, at home on this property that god told me to build it our own but till then we still got a broadcast so we got to get it out uh one way or the other if i gotta run uptown every night or whatever so pray for us five rocks that's what god said that's all i know if you're one of the rocks you obey god you call the testimony line 931-229-0768. That's the only phone line that is working. Leave the message. Give me a number to call you back. Say, Eddie, I'm one of the rocks. Call me, and I'll give you the mailing information, and we'll get things in the works, and uh, we'll get this thing started off of the foundation of Jesus Christ, being obedient to the Word of God. That's what it's all about tonight, a special program. We'll be talking about it throughout the program, but uh, right now, I want you to sit back. I want you to just relax, raise your hands, and I want you to be blessed by a few of these testimonies that have come in through the testimony line. So give this a listen and be blessed, my friends. We'll be right back. This is Pastor Vincent. Happy birthday, Eddie, and happy birthday, Jesus, because every day is Christmas. When you're a Christian, you celebrate Christ all the time. He is first. Lord God Almighty. Lord of Lord, King of Kings. And when you get that, you get it all. The kingdom of eternal life. Not just the gifts of this earthly realm that you constantly are blessed with by our Lord. Don't forget to thank Him all the time. Because God is good. God is great. Bless everyone. Amen. Amen. Thank you, uh, Vincent, uh, Vinny D. George, we call him. Pastor Vincent, he says. Amen. We've got a couple of more guests. I'm going to reach them a mic here. We'll let them introduce themselves to you. Just came into the studio. Tonight, the studio is my bedroom. So you guys want something to gossip about? <laughs> I mean, go ahead. I've been called worse, you know. Uh, we've got uh, Chris uh, Cheney from Saving America One Soul at a Time. Amen. Did you turn your mic on? Yeah. I got it on. I don't know if All I'm right. picking up anything, yeah. but we on. Yeah, praise <laughs> the Lord. We just stopped by for a minute. Um, I stopped by to grab Joe over here. He's going to ride with me up to Nashville uh, to go pray for that little baby that yeah. got run T over. Tell us what's going on there. 
A uh, little baby got run over in Cookville yesterday. A little one-year-old girl. Uh, and they got her in Vanderbilt, Nashville. And uh, she's in critical condition. So uh, I just felt led to run up there and, and pray for her. So that's where we're heading to. Well, that's amen. where we're off to. Amen. Let us uh, sow into that little bit of work. Since we can't go with you, we can we can give you a little gas money. Amen. Uh, I stopped by... Uh, What's the name of that church, Lawrence Chapel up here, Church yeah. of God? Yeah. I stopped uh, out there and Mac. had Pastor Mac. They all yeah. prayed over the prayer cloth and anointed it. Uh-huh. And, uh, and uh, old Sam Vanderbilt there gave us a little guy's money to go on the way. And, well, praise and the Lord. Uh, so thank God for God's children. Huh? Yes. God's good. Amen. We got also uh, Brother Joe Wallace with us. Joe. Amen. Good to be here, Brother Eddie. And happy birthday, my friend. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Not, not getting any older, just getting better in the Lord. Amen. There you go. Amen. Hey, you all out there in Radio Land, we love you. Uh, keep us in your prayers as we go to Nashville tonight. Uh, Brother Chris called and asked me if I was going. And we're supposed to be a doer of the word, not only a hearer only. So when he called, he says, you want to go? Yeah, we're getting out on the battlefield. We're Amen. going. Amen. So we're not sitting behind four walls. We're getting out there and going. We're going to go pray for this baby. Amen. Amen. Y'all Amen. keep us in your prayers and God bless. Amen. Praise God. All right, guys. Uh, I'm going to ask Terry, if she would, Sister Terry, here before you leave, to say a word of prayer on with you here, uh, uh, just uh, for mercy traveling and for that baby in that situation. Go ahead, sis. Our precious Heavenly Father, we come to you at this time to ask you to place guardian angels around Chris and Joe as they travel to Nashville. Let their prayers be lifted up to give you honor, praise, and glory. Father, I know that you can just lay a small tap of a finger upon this child, and it will be healed from the top of its head to the tip of its toes. Father, we stand one mind, one accord, in asking in the name of Jesus, your precious son, to heal this child. For, Father, I know that you've already answered one prayer for another baby that's down there, Benjamin. His mama got to hold him yesterday for the first time. He's nine days old. If you can heal him, you can heal this child yes, too, Lord. Father. Yes. We give you honor, praise, and glory for everything. Let them travel safely down and return them safely home to their loved ones, Father. We ask all this in the name of Jesus, your precious and divine Son, who died on the cross for us to save us. In Amen. Amen. Praise God. God is good, gentlemen. Go with God. Keep us informed. Uh, do you got a cell phone to take with you? You guys traveling with a phone? When you get down there, call back. Let us know if we can be of any further help. Uh, this reminds me of the other night when you had you was doing the radio and me and me and Pastor Eddie had to go to uh, Asheville, North Carolina. So we're honored tonight to uh, to help you on your journey. Be blessed and keep us informed. If you need us, call us. If, if any, anything we can do further to help. Amen. Yeah, praise God. Amen. All right, we got we got them getting crosses to take down and things. Amen. God's good, church, I'm telling you. So uh, this is what we do here at the Gospel Music Jukebox Radio Program. We give evangelists like like uh, Chris Cheney an opportunity to say, hey, this is what's going on out here in the world. We're on the battlefield. Amen. And, uh, you know, we're, we got to hold the banner high. We must apply the Word of God in our lives. We must be doers of the Word. You understand? That means when you read it, <laughs> you got to apply it. You've got to put it to work in your life, my friends. Enjoy this song, and we're going to be right back with you right here on this special program right here at the Gospel Music Jukebox with uh, tonight our guest. We have Sister Terry and Brother Bobby uh, Bohammon. Uh -huh. Yeah, Bohammon, and man, they got a testimony. They're going to share in a little bit. I'm telling you, that's going to, oh my God, it blowed my, I mean, it just, it blessed me so much today that I cried. I cried and I cried and just thanking God. Because it's it this testimony also involves the gospel music jukebox. Amen. We'll let we'll let them share that with you just in a little bit. Amen. Because God is so good. We gotta seek out the old path and stay there on. You know, the old path. I'm telling you, it it was good enough for Paul and Silas, it's good enough for me and you. Amen. We'll be right back. <laughs> Give me that old-time religion. 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 It's good enough for me. Makes me love everybody. Makes me love everybody. Makes me love everybody. It's good enough for me. Give me that old-time religion. Give me that old-time religion. Give me that old-time religion. It's good enough for me.
God. Amen. The Lord is good, ain't he? Amen. Seeking out that old time religion. At this time, I'm going to ask Sister Terry, if she would, to go ahead and uh, just obey the Lord, her and Brother Bobby, if they want to sing or testify or share scripture with us or whatever God puts upon their heart. We want to give them the opportunity to do that. Just simply obey the Lord. Make sure your mics are on when you talk and you're set to go. Brother Eddie, I, first of all, I want to wish you a very happy birthday, and I know that you've had shares of blessings today. Yeah, but happy all, birthday to you. Thank you for the gospel music jukebox. Yeah, it's a blessing. It's played a very important part to a special person in my life. Just recently, I lost my dad, and I sat questioning if he went to heaven or not. And I've been so worried about my mom because she'd stepped away from the Lord for a while. But my husband, while I'm at work every night, he tuned you in every night faithfully. And I am so blessed and thankful for that. Thank God. And my mama, she's there listening. And the word from everybody's just been working on her so much. My mama went up in church this morning and she rededicated her life to the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I am so glad. And my mama, she tells me this evening what she done after church. And she said, I wish I knew if your dad rededicated at the end, if he was right with God. She said, I don't know. I'm unsure. But she says, I am. And that's all that matters to me right now. And I'm like, praise, praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you. Praise but, God. You know, that's just so wonderful. Wow. And I'm thankful that the gospel music jukebox was a big part of this that she was hearing the word of God yes, and yes. she so enjoyed the tent revival up here. We're going to have to figure out when to have another <laughs> oh, one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and you've got to understand my mama's church Christ raised and, and she's true to it. And I just, I love the Lord. I, I don't care what religion you are. That's, that's not right. what's going to get you right. in heaven. No, it's right. what's in your heart. Amen. It doesn't matter if you're church Christ, yeah, Baptist, Pentecostal. Yeah, as long as you love Jesus and you read the Bible right. and yep. you try to yep. live it and be more Amen. Christ-like, that, yes. that yes. is what's getting you to heaven. Yes. And the fact that Jesus died on the cross for us so that we would be covered by his blood, saved by his grace. Thank you, Father, for that so much. I, I And I know this. I, I, I know this so much because he told me wow. with my experience with him on the river and mm-hmm. I'm not supposed to be here. I was supposed to die last year in October. And, and but God had a plan. He had, God a plan had a plan for me. I'm not sure exactly Great yet what God. it is. He, he's, he's not told me everything yet, but he's working on me. Amen. I, I'm, I'm like that big pile of clay on his potter wheel. Oh, yeah. He's still molding yeah. and making me. Yeah. And he's, you know, I'm yeah. a growing in him. And, yeah. and I love him more every day. Oh, when I wake God. up, it's thank you, Lord. Because I get another day to serve him, worship him. That's oh, right. I, I I get to testify for him and tell about That's my right. miracle of life that I'm still here on this earth. And it's just, it's great. And, yeah, praise and, God. Praise God, yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Woo, God is good, my friends. My fr- Boy, you're blessed to live with somebody on oh, fire yeah. for the Lord. I am. Man? I'm blessed. She's blessed me for... 32 years she's been a blessing to you me. You all about to catch me and Pauline. We're, we're working on Yeah, it. we're 36 years. 36, mm, yeah. You're about to catch us now. <laughs> I think we'll be 33 this year. Wow. Uh, yep. Yeah. Praise yeah. the Lord. That. So we're you know, that, that's a unique thing. It because is. in today's society, why, well, man, they change wives like some people change pocketbooks or yeah. shoes. You, you know. got that right. You know, they don't take commitment serious. No. no. They don't no. take mm. their vows serious. A lot of them don't fall in love. They just fall in lust. They fall in and yeah, yeah, you know, and because uh, God hasn't joined everybody out there together, because whom God joins together, no man can put no asunder. Man. That's right. And when you have problems, people don't get mad and walk away and divorce. No. Work through it. Amen. That's what makes your marriage stronger, I'm telling Amen. you. Amen. And if they don't got Christ at the head of their marriage, mm-hmm. it ain't going to work right. no way. Well, that, that's you know, exactly they right. They will be yeah. miserable without yeah. God. Amen. Yeah. I spent 32 years waiting on this man to come to the Lord. <laughs> I'm telling God. you all about it now. It's Ooh. serious. Tell them how that works. Oh, it works like this. You still, 
Even though I wasn't at church, the Lord still walked with me, carried me, and I look back over my life and I see one set of footprints during them hard times. He carried me. I bet he's glad I lost weight because I bet I was headed there for a while. (laughs) Ah, Come on. But now, we... Pastor Eddie Garrett, I'll tell this on yeah, him. He's going to love this. Go ahead. I worked with him and had no idea this man was a pastor. And the people I worked around, we cursed really bad. And uh, I worked around a retired sailor. So y'all know I heard mm, some really bad yeah, words. Yeah. Mm. Didn't know he was a pastor. And he took in on me. Uh, you go to church? Yeah. And I, I didn't lie. Every once in a while, I did go to church, uh-huh. you know. Yeah. On special occasions, you know, yeah, Easter Sunday and decoration. That's uh-huh. about it. Oh, yeah. and uh, he kept on. You gonna come church, and then on Monday morning, well, I didn't see you at church last night. You gonna come <laughs> on Tuesday night? I'm telling y'all, people, every day I didn't go to his church. Well, you gonna come church every day? You gonna be at church Sunday? Uh-huh. And he stayed on me, and I got so aggravated. I went home one Friday evening, and I said, "Honey." Will you please go to church with me to Eddie's church on Sunday? I know we're supposed to go to Rocky Point. It's Easter Sunday, but let's just go to Eddie's church. So he will shut up yeah. and leave me alone. Come on. He's about to drive me crazy. Uh, and he said, Mother, just this one time. Yeah. Easter Sunday come around. You know Satan's yeah. there. He's putting Uh-oh. stumbling blocks yeah. up. Oh. Well, you know, I'm running 10 minutes late to walk in this man's church. So. So I eased the door open, sat down in that very back pew. Yeah. 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 And he's in the pulpit, and he's a grinning, and his wife turns, <laughs> seen us, and she jumps up, runs back, and hugs us. And you know, for a year, I only missed one time, and wow. that was when I got sick and was in the hospital. Yeah, that's awesome. I mean, we were in revival at the time. He went right from Easter Sunday right into revival. A and hot, a hot, Holy Ghost filled church hey, revival man. i'm telling you I mean, man that was something the lord God. come yeah. down moved breast to breast and they was so saved and mine was one of them thank you lord yes. and Praise my husband God. was on the altar at midnight one night and he gave his life and i shed tears Praise and God. then i yeah. took in a shout and yeah. hallelujah thank you lord and he's been in church ever since well. it's church time let's go <laughs> right, let's go do this you know he, he's God. hot for the lord and i yeah. love it I expected to die and leave this world on him, never in church. But Lord answers prayers because I just, you know, Lord, I, I'm, you know, saving. Yeah. And he says he'll save my children yes. and my family. And, and I'm Ooh, claiming all that. Glory. And he saved my mama today. And yeah. God's so good. <laughs> Thank you, God. Father. Wow. Glory. Hallelujah. Well, my God. That right there makes every day of the persecutions we receive worth it. Amen. People laughing at us, making fun of us. Yeah, they mean, talk about so, me. They give somebody else a break. Amen. You know? Amen. Her, her mama told me, she said, that little man on that computer there she said listening to him said he just kind of kept bugging me and pulling me and everything oh. and then I, I just grabbed her and hugged her and i said praise god yeah. thank you jesus yeah, thank amen. you lord yeah. so, I, amen thank you, brother oh you praise god I, amen i, I love her what you needed to say amen he that's right he puts the words in her mouth amen. when we just step up to the plate as a willing vessel like you said we're the clay on the potter's wheel amen he is the potter, church. Won't you allow him to shape you tonight? She Amen. come through the house every night. She said, ain't it time for the <laughs> man to be on the computer there? Oh, it's just goodness. about time, Mom. So he'll be yeah. on there in a minute. My God. <laughs> yeah. See, you don't know, that encourages me because most of the, you know, I mean, I get encouragement from most of the faithful listeners. You know, uh, uh, we've got about eight or ten that's pretty mm-hmm. faithful. That, yeah. that They get in there on the, uh, show up in the chat room and they, they pray if a prayer request comes across yeah. and they share scripture and the words of, uh, of God for us and just fellowship one with another one while we're doing the program. Yeah. But, but 90% of my, my, uh, comments through the email are negative uh so it blesses my heart when somebody says hey let me tell you what god done through the gospel music jukebox through the anointing of god it touched another life and uh you know that that lets you know what we're doing sitting here speaking to a wall if you have never now imagine you got me and you and bobby (laughs) imagine sitting here by yourself 
uh-huh. and you're trying to talk to somebody uh-huh. and, and you know that God's going through these computers uh-huh. and, and we know that, but it's still different when you're, you need a face, you know, you, you know, I like to see a face. That's why it blesses me so much when you show up in the chat room, Bobby shows up, you know, and he'll say, God bless yeah. or welcome everybody. Uh-huh. I know somebody's listening, Amen. you know, and somebody going to help share it and somebody going to help fill these airways with the gospel, the good news of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Amen. So Amen. that, that, that helps excite me Amen. into the yeah. word even yeah. deeper. Amen. And, uh, you know, I, I mean, to me, this is church. Yeah. Yes. To me, this Amen. is church. When we're when we're like my son right now on his way to Nashville to pray for a baby that got ran over yesterday. That's church. Like the other day, me and Pastor Eddie Garrett was on the road to Asheville, North Carolina, taking a gentleman, Mike. His son had flatlined for the fourth time. Oh and uh, he had o- overdosed on drugs. He's 25 years old. But to hear that man's testimony, as, as we got to share a little bit with him, but even more as we rode with him. Yeah. And then when we got there and, and met him and met the homeless people in this camp and everything, knowing it was real and knowing that they need help and knowing that they're facing the same things we face. I, I said, look here, he's homeless. And nobody helps them much. And the law harasses them and runs mm-hmm. them off. And everybody stereotypes a homeless individual. You know, oh, he's a drug addict. He's an alcoholic. Or they're they're bums, you know, or whatever. Well, I can be, I've asked forever for people to share their testimony. I'm talking to pastors right now. I'm mm-hmm. talking to you bishops. I'm talking to you teachers. You called of God. And you ain't done it yet. See, I feel just what he feels. Yeah. You know, I mean, why won't you do that, you pastors? Yeah, that I work Work with that you sit on the side you won't come into the chat room you just listen because you're eavesdropping but you won't get in there and get active and pray for others because you're afraid we're too uh they call me too liberal man they say i'm uh, i'm too plain spoken let me tell you what i am i am called telling i'm called telling the truth amen. amen amen we're called telling the truth amen. because i'm not going to tickle your ears uh because i fear god and and i don't want your blood or no listener's blood on my hands. That's right. I, I mean, when I leave this world, I'm going to stand before God for what I did or did not do. And, and I don't want your blood on my hands and say, well, I heard that preacher on that gospel music jukebox say you could do this or you could do that. Let me tell you, if you, if you quote me, you're quoting Bible. Amen. Because I'm not going to tell you nothing else. I don't want to tell you nothing else. And really, I don't know it's much of nothing else. King James else. Version. King too. James, amen. Lay it out. Amen. To me, that's that's the one I feel that's the right. Spirit draw from. Uh, I study lots of other books. But amen. when I minister, I minister from the King, King James. James amen. Hey, good to see Sister Ann in the room tonight. Remember her. Uh, and she's saying, hello, Terry and Bobby. Praise hey, God. Hey, Sister Angela. Love you. Amen. Uh, remember her husband, uh, Chris Chaney, and mm-hmm. along with Brother Joe, uh, uh Wallace there on their way to, to Nashville down there at Vanderbilt to pray for that little one-year-old baby, I believe it is, that got ran over. So uh, they're going to be late getting home and all that. So be much in prayer for them. Amen. All right, guys, give this song a listen, and we'll be right back. Hey, be sure to tell all your friends, neighbors, coworkers, and, yes, even your enemies what's going on right here at the Gospel Music Jukebox. Amen. And uh, see, the challenge tonight is to see if you can get a guest to come and listen with you during this special program, Testimonies, and, well, we're just bragging on Jesus. And we're hunting for five rocks. Now, remember, you pray. Five rocks sold out for $100 a month to say, hey, I'm gonna. I'm sowing this seed of faith, hundred dollars a month. I like what the gospel music jukebox is doing. I hear Christ in it. I see Christ in it, and uh, I want to make sure that it cont- continues on. You, you just sent you. You obey God. You pray. If you're one of them rocks, you call our testimony line and leave a message saying, "Hey, Evangelist Eddie, I want to be a rock for the gospel music jukebox. Give me a call and leave your number." I'll call you back. We will get that in process. We, we, we're, we're praying through, even during this program, about getting the satellite dish. We're going to build our own radio station. And, uh, you know, we were thinking about renting a building, but we're not going to do that. 
No, the Lord's moving on me. These five rocks, $100 a month, going to help me. We're going to take that money, build the building. The satellite, we're going to call uh, this week for the satellite dish to be brought and hooked up straight satellite internet we're not going to fool with the phone company we're not going to fool with the tv cable company we're going to get straight satellite internet it's a little higher but it's more dependable and uh that way we don't got to worry about the line being down and them cutting it off and them working on it and it going off like three times and five times a day uh throughout the day so uh please continue to pray if you're one of them rocks give us a call at 931-229-0768, leave your, your comment and say, hey, I want to be a rock for the Gospel Music Jukebox and make your pledge of $100 a month. And we're talking about the rest of our natural lives. And uh, we're talking about I'm looking for rocks and saying I'm sold out. I, I'm, I'm going to do this. You pray. You seek. You obey God. You'll be blessed. We'll be blessed. And the listeners will be blessed knowing that they can every night at 8 o'clock p.m. Central Time Tune in to the Gospel Music Jukebox and hear the Word of God yeah, being shared, not Amen. only on the Gospel Music Jukebox, yeah. but uh, we do a program uh, in the pulpit. Yeah. We do in the pulpit. That's where we uh, asked other ministers to share their sermons, their songs, their word. What, we just encourage them to obey God. Yeah. Yeah. And, and we're not worried about your denomination. We're worried about your relationship with Jesus Christ. Amen. Remember, I told you, God told me a long time ago that he has people in every denomination you can think of, and they're there because God has put them there, yeah. and yeah. they're a light to the rest. Amen. I'm telling you, God is calling his people. God's getting ready. Are you ready? The point being, are you ready? If old man death was to meet you tonight, are you ready to make heaven your home? Have you been born again? See, if you haven't, now listen, you must be born again or you will in no wise enter into the kingdom of heaven. You must come to that place of realization that you're a sinner in need of a Savior and say, hey, tonight's my night. Tonight's my night. This is my moment. Reach out, repent, turn from your wickedness, run into the arms of Jesus, and watch what happens. You hey, know, man. Brother, brother Eddie, that don't say that you can be born again or you will be born again. It says you must be born again. Amen. You must be. Yeah. It has to take place. It has to take place. We must humble ourselves down. Yeah. We must die daily, pick up our cross, and follow after Jesus that Christ. That must, M-U-S-T, is a Ooh, big word in there. That's my goodness. a big word that we have to go by. You know. We got to give up old man pride, don't right. we? Got to give up the yeah. world. We got to come out from amongst the world and be a separated people. Yeah. We'll be right back. You're listening to the Gospel Music Jukebox. Hey, we got special guests, uh, Brother Bobby and Terry Mohannon. Mohannon? Mohannon. Mohannon. Amen. With us right here in the studio tonight, up out of Cookville, Tennessee. They're up here on the plateau, and we, yeah, call, the we call this the jumping off place to heaven. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Praise God. We're, we're blessed that they're with us tonight. We'll be right back. Be blessed. <laughs>
Crossville. Uh, we need prayer requests for uh, grandson, stepdaughters, uh, all kinds of prayers for our families needed. Uh, God bless everybody, and without Jesus, I wouldn't have made it this long in my life. Thank you. Amen. Uh, let's uh, uh, ask Sister Terry and Brother Bobby once again to lead us in a word of prayer. This is Sister Judy Pig. She actually lives right here in Crossville, Tennessee. Uh, not far from us, actually, probably within 10 miles. Maybe not even that far, probably about 8 miles. But uh, be, they're wonderful, wonderful uh, people. They love the Lord, uh, Brother Lewis and uh, Sister Judy. Uh, I was blessed many years ago, actually married that couple in a barn revival. Amen. In Ripley, Ohio. Oh, I yeah. married them in the top of a barn about, I don't know, she could probably tell you better than me. I'd have to look through my documents, but I'm thinking about, ooh, 20 years ago, something like that, but uh, we was in a revival, and we met them, actually. I met Brother Lewis and uh, 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 up in, uh, man, Germantown, Ohio? No. I don't think it was Germantown, Dayton. It was some part of Dayton uh, I'd went to. But they've been a blessing to uh, me and my family. And uh, I, I just ask you to lead us with a word of prayer for them now and their grandchildren, well, their whole family, that God would just uh, bless their family. Uh, Sister Terry, Brother Bobby. Lord, we asked you tonight. Yes, Lord. This sister, yes, sister God. Judy. Yes, God. Lord, reach down and touch and her, touch her yes. family yes. there, Lord, the ones that she's got the prayer request on, Father. Father. You know yes. We know that yes. your hands can heal the and Father, ones and can bring them closer to heart, you, Father. Lord. Be their needs, will, Lord, Father. be your will. And let Just give you honor show yes. them the light, Lord, yes, and show yes, them the way, Lord. Yes, Lord. In your precious we name, we pray. In Jesus' see. name. Yes, and Lord. Father, we do ask one mind, one, one accord, accord in all things. Yes. There's three of us here. Oh, three of us you, makes Jesus. it one accord. Yes. Father, in the name of Jesus, answer Sister Judy's yes. prayers. Yes, Fulfill Lord. all yes, of Lord. it. Yes. What's wrong, make right. Yeah. And then let her give you the honor, praise, and glory yes. for this in the name yes. of Jesus. Yes. Yes. Amen. 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 Woo, the Lord is good. Amen. <laughs> praise God. All the time. Well, I see Sister Terry here hot on the word of God. So let's just turn her loose once again. Obey the Lord, sis. Sister Judy, this will be for you, too, because it's God's promise, not just to you, but to everybody. If y'all got your Bibles, go to Second Peter chapter 1. tells me verse 4, but I got to back up to verse 2, because it's grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord, according as his divine power hath given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness, through the knowledge of him that hath called us to glory and virtue, whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises, that by these you might be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. And besides this, giving all diligence, add to your faith virtue, and to your virtue knowledge, and to knowledge temperance, and to temperance, patience, and to patience, godliness, and to godliness, brotherly kindness, and to brotherly kindness, charity. That's Christian love, people. Spread it yeah. hey. everywhere. Yeah. Hebrews 13, 3 tells you go out and spread, spread. brotherly love. Yes. Maybe chapter, verse 1 there, 13, 1. But just spread brotherly love around. Let them know you're a Christian. Let your light shine. For if these things be in you and abound, they make you that you shall neither be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. Just don't sit there and be idle on the side. Uh -huh. Spread the word. Spread. Witness for him. <laughs> Testify. If he's done a miracle in your yeah. life, tell people. Spread that word. I'll tell you a good miracle Jesus done for me. October last year, I got deathly sick. Should have died. Had a doctor tell me two days in a row. I shouldn't be talking to you. You should be dead. He's got lab work, test results. They're all down at Covid Hospital. Still on file. He has no idea why I'm still alive. I'll tell you, everyone listening, I had people praying for me. They come in my hospital room and laid hands on me and asked for a fast healing. 
I had infection in my bloodstream. I should have died, people. Through prayers and the love of Jesus, I was healed. But yeah. before I was healed, I went to the river with my Jesus. I was on the river with him, and he actually comforted me. He stroked my hair. He showed me when the river is peaceful, he's with me. When it's turbulent, he's still with me. It's so beautiful up there, people. I didn't want to come back to this world. I wanted to stay with my Jesus. And I asked him lots of questions. My husband said I woke him up three or four times during the night laughing. The only thing I remember talking to Jesus about was that we had some money went missing at church. And he told me I wasn't ready to hear the answer to that. And I understood that. And I was okay with it. And then I asked him, I said, Lord... I can't believe I said this to my Jesus, but I did. I said, we've been on this water all this time, and we've not went fishing. And he said, well, let me tell you about a good friend of mine named Jonah and a whale. And I started laughing because I learned that in Sunday school. And, and I said, Lord, I said, I learned that in Sunday school. And he said, that's okay. I'll save it for a later time. Because at that time, the nurses were coming in waking me up. And I'd wake up and answer him, and I'd go back, and he was still there waiting on me. It, I mean, he never left me. He's never going to leave me. But the one thing he showed me was if I hold on to him and stay faithful to him and try to be more Christ-like daily, and when I mess up, ask forgiveness. That's all you have to do is ask people, and he'll forgive us. And he showed me where my spot's going to be in heaven when I die and leave this world. I'm going to be at Jesus' feet. I promise you this. I'm working toward that goal. That's my goal for the remainder of my days. But Jesus did ask me to tell everybody this. We are saved by his grace and covered by his blood. And that is the only way you are going to get to heaven is through him to go to the Father. So repent and be ye baptized in the name of Jesus in order to get to heaven, people. It don't make no difference what you've done. As long as you regret it, you have sorrow, go to Jesus on your knees. You don't have to be in a church to accept him into your heart. Just get down and say, Lord, save me. I'm a sinner. I repent. And then you find somebody and you get baptized. And you have them baptize you in the name of Jesus. For that's how you're going to heaven, people. We're saved by his grace and covered by his blood. He died on that cross for us. He didn't have to do, but he knew when he was hanging there that we would exist in this world at this time. He already knew we were coming. He didn't have to stay there. He could have called a band of angels to pull them nails from them hands. I'm telling you, he done it for love. The love of us is why he done it. And I am so thankful that my Savior hung there and died for me. Please don't ever forget that, people. He is our Savior. He is our eternal home in heaven. Through Him, I'm going to glory. I've done been there. I'm going back. It's beautiful. I'm telling you, people. It's the greatest thing ever. So I'm thankful when I got that doctor to concede that my Savior is the master healer. And he does make it viable for physicians to administer pain and, you know, medication and stuff to heal us. But Jesus is the master here. And that physician told me that. And I said, thank you, Lord. (laughs) Amen. And he conceded to that. And he he said, well, I'm going out here to fill your release papers. You're going home. I said, thank you, Lord. (laughs) Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. You know, God works in miraculous oh, and, yeah. and mysterious he ways. Does. He but, does. you know, that's what we encourage people. We say, when you go to the doctor, just simply ask your doctor, do you know Jesus Christ as your personal Lord? You will be surprised. There are a lot of them that does. Yeah. They are. Yeah. And well, we thank he God. he did and he does he now because he now, conceded don't he? <laughs> to it, I'm telling you. Praise God. Amen. I love that. I love that. Brother Bobby, you're truly blessed. I am, uh, I am you know, truly blessed with her. I amen. Know. The Word of God says we entertain yeah. angels unaware. Yeah. And uh, sometimes we we overlook those that are closest to us. Yeah. 
and uh, yeah. the most blessings flow from those that are right there in front of us. That's right. Amen. I yeah. thank God for my wife of 36 going on 37 years. And I tell you, I know, I'm like you, I know for a fact that God put my wife in my uh, life. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. It was, yeah, I, know, I couldn't I have picked that. one that good. Yeah. No way. I mean, ain't no way to tolerate and put up with me. Uh, she, she had to be sent by God, and I consider her to be one of my angels in my life. Amen. <laughs> Woo, praise God. Yeah. All right, church, thank you. Hey, praise. talking about my wife, she's checked in. She says, uh, God bless you, Sister Terry. Love you and Bobby. Uh, and she's saying amen. Thank God to the word you brought. You know, I got tickled at Sister Terry there, uh, Brother Bobby, when, when <laughs> she was uh, uh, fluttering through the words, you know, and she was getting all excited. And I said, all right, just obey the Lord. And she said, she looked over to her husband, uh, Brother Bobby here, and she said, maybe you ought to read this word. <laughs> And we asked her why, you know, that kind of shock. Yeah. You know, we said, why? And she said, well, you know, uh, I'm a woman. Yeah. Well, I know I know a woman that carried the word back to the disciples. Her Amen. name was Mary. Her name uh, was Mary. Uh, there yeah. is women prophetess, women evangelists. Now, the only thing I can find in the word that would read a woman out of a position is a pastor. Yeah. And that's because it would yeah. kind of be impossible for you to be the husband of one wife. I mean, you know that I mean yeah. I mean that would be yeah. kind of rough. That'd be wrong. I mean I know all things can be done with God, oh, yeah. but man, we're talking about a <clears throat> yeah. I don't think he goes contrary to his word. But as far as preaching the word, this is what I encourage women and men and children obey God. God, right. if, if you're a child and you're ten, eleven, twelve, you're you know you think well God won't use me. He will. He will. He will. He will, he will use you. Yeah. He wants to use a willing vessel. You know, and it don't matter if you're male or female. A willing vessel means someone that's sold out, someone that's in love with Jesus. Matter of fact, he said we must humble down and receive the kingdom such as a child or we will in no wise enter in. I mean, if we don't humble down, come off that high horse. You know, and keep thinking we're holier than thou. You know, yeah. we're better than everybody else. One denomination thinks they're better than the other denomination. And they yeah. preach that garbage behind them pulpits. Yeah. Listen to me. They do. They say, oh, don't you go nowhere else. You're liable to hear a lie. Yeah. You know, yeah. that is mind manipulation, my friend. You go wherever God tells you to go. You yeah. obey God. If you're That's on your right. way to a church service, a worship building and you're on your way to worship and God moves in your heart to go to the right and you better go to the right. You better go wherever God told you because if you don't and you disobey that, that you disobey that, then you're called in a form of religion. Mm -hmm. You're worried about an appearance. You're worried about showing up so they all don't talk about you and you didn't come and you know, but you gotta, you know, you're trying to fit in. But if you obey God, hey, you might, you might be at the Pentecost tonight. You might be at the, the uh, Baptist Sunday, you might be at the gospel music you box on Sunday night. There you Amen. go. Amen. 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 That's what we do. And, uh, and, Amen. and that's what we want to encourage people. It ain't about the name above the door. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's about the name in your heart. Yep. Is Jesus Christ your personal Lord and Savior? That's what we're trying to encourage you. And, uh, and, and if it is, hey, we want to give you the opportunity to obey God. You can come here. Uh, right here at 219 Red Fox Drive, Crossville, Tennessee, if you're in the local area. We cry out to all these pastors, Pastor Dusty Watson of New Beginning Ministries. We cry out to uh, Pastor Lewis Davis of, of Pomona United Methodist. Uh, we cry out to Pastor Eddie Garrett. We cry out to Evangelist, uh, evangelist uh, Willie uh, there from uh, Scottsville. He helps the gospel music oh, yeah. jukebox a whole lot. Uh, you want to check out one of his programs. Uh, uh, he does house uh, house of prayer, house of prayer. amen. Mm-hmm. Right here on the gospel music jukebox, and we were blessed to get to keep that going. I've noticed he's not signed in. I don't know if we got a problem there again or not, but I'm I'm hoping that he gets back on board with that. Anyway, I'm praying that he does yeah. that he gets back on board. Uh, but through some uh, computer glitches and and electronical payment plans and things, uh, we've he has to do it uh, the gospel. If he does it under us, he can only do the house of prayer. No. Uh, because if he goes in under the ones I'm doing back and forth, the uh, messes up the IP address or something. Oh. I don't know, but I paid the extra five dollars 
to get it set where he can sign in. It's all legal. We ain't breaking no kind of law with that. You know, like, you know, trying to, uh, what is it they called? I was trying to broadcast without paying for a service, I guess. Oh, yeah. But anyway, because it was a different IP address. But all that got fixed. So we're we're hoping to hear from him soon on on one of his programs. Amen. So check that out. Check out our archive in the pulpit. Yeah. You want to check yeah. that out and be blessed. It simply just says the gospel music jukebox in the pulpit, and then we tell what guest, whomever, or whatever we're sharing. So you want to check those out and be blessed. Hey, remember, this special program tonight, as we're sharing the good news of the gospel of our precious Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, we're asking you to pray. We're looking for five rocks, five people that says, God told me, $100 a month, I'm one of your rocks. The gospel music jukebox will go on even at my death until the coming of the Lord. He told me that. That's the vision. If I leave this world tonight... Sister Terry and Brother Eddie Garrett and Evangelist Chris Cheney and Brother Willie Grizzle and Brother Boyd London Thomas and Sister Rachel and Pastor Jordan, all of them will pull together and make sure that the gospel music jukebox yeah. continues Amen. to Amen. go on because God said so. Amen. These rocks, my wife and my, my uh, daughter-in-law, these rocks that absolutely get in here and pray, you're a part of this program. Well, you know that God answers prayers too. Amen. Thank so you God. you go to Mark 11 and... Uh, we're going to go to verse 22. And Jesus answering saith unto them, Have faith in God. For verily I say unto you, That whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, And shall not doubt in his heart, But shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass, He shall have whatsoever he saith. Therefore I say unto you, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. Amen. 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 Praise Amen. God. Hey, Brother uh, Willie, speaking of him, there he is. There he just he jumped is. in. He says, hi, all at work, but listening in. Praise love God, brother. You, brother. We, love love you, we love you, man, and uh, we're uh, anxiously awaiting uh, one of your programs, House of Prayer. We hope that you can now sign in. I believe I tried to get a message to you the other day. Our phone and Internet is down here at my house. So if you've been trying to call me, brother, it ain't happening. Uh, <laughs> the Internet phone is out, gone. The Internet right now that we're doing this on, the cable company is, I mean, it could go out right now during the program. So if it does, don't get mad. Pray for us. Amen. Yeah, pr pray for us. Uh, you know, a lot of people get mad and think we just turn it off. We don't just turn it off. Uh, but through that weak Internet signal, it does that. So just be much in prayer. Tonight is a special program because God has answered another one of my prayers. We've been praying about what to do about this Internet thing. And as we were talking and praying here, God told me to just go ahead and, and start on the Internet dish. Get that in process. Get the pole out here on the property we already own. We're not going to rent. We're going to take those five rocks, that $100 a month, and we're going to build our own radio station. From the ground up, the, the, the foundation being Jesus Christ, we're going to build it, and we're going to invite people right off the streets to come in yeah. anytime yeah. from 8 p.m. to 11 and just worship the Lord as uh, we do gospel music jukebox live they can come in and, and participate and be a part of that yeah, uh, right. i will be calling more and more of these local pastors and and if you guys know pastors in cookville you know pastors where you're at call them and tell them say hey why don't you get involved and help fill these airways with the gospel the good news of jesus christ yeah. that that don't cost you a dime to do that but those five rocks we're asked we're looking for god told me tonight he said they will call the testimony line it's through the email, so it's got nothing to do with these phone numbers that keep kicking off. You can dial 931-229-0768 and simply share your testimony. You get three minutes now, but you can call as many times as you'd like. I mean, if you only call 25 times in a row, you can do that. Yeah. You, you're not hurting nobody. Call. Yeah. We're going to put them on CDs and give them away. We're going to share them right here on these radio programs. But if you're one of my rocks that God said he's going to place in my life, that says, hey, look, 
I'm going to, I'm faithfully sold out to you, Jesus. I'm going to obey you. You know, I heard a preacher the other day say that uh, he prayed for 13 years and he was asking God for a million dollars to build a ministry. It took 13 years of being faithful and praying and thanking God. And one day, a man walked up and wrote him a check for a million dollars. Now, all things is possible with God. And I'm telling you, the five rocks that do this are going to be supersonic blessed. They're going to be blessed. Going to be blessed. God told me they would. This is a lifetime commitment that you've committed to Jesus. Not to me. You committed to Jesus to be a willing vessel, a doer, and now it's time for you to step up to the plate and say, hey, I'm sowing my $100 a month, and I'm going to be a part of spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ to a lost and dying world. Amen? Amen. That goes for yeah. building material. It goes for equipment. We're getting new equipment. We're building. The Lord told me to build a 14 by 21. What he told me to build. And tables will be around the walls with mics for everybody that comes in to participate. Uh, Headsets will be dropped from the walls. And uh, we can get in there, and that leaves the middle open for church. Oh, yeah. Amen. All four walls lined with tables and mics. The middle will be open. uh, And uh, that's open with a pulpit. Going to be right in the middle. If a minister feels led to bring a word, we're going to have plenty of shouting and Holy Ghost jumping (laughs) around. Amen. (laughs) Amen. Amen. We can get in there, Amen. Get in there and have a Holy Ghost hold down. Praise God. I love it. I Amen. love it. Amen. <laughs> All right. Praise God. I'm excited. And uh, I, I can hardly wait to drive the first nail on I the foundation. For you. Go ahead. Talk, talk loud on that this mic. This is so God's promise. Come on. Your labor is not in vain. Yep. And you're going to find this in 1 Corinthians chapter 15. Verse 57, but thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Amen. In the Lord. Amen. That means this is it. You've heard the vision. We've told you we wanted to go 24-7 soon by Christmas. Now we're telling you God said build the building. Uh, my little work office ain't sufficient. It ain't big enough. Hey, I got to share a testimony. I got to share this. We were blessed with a little air conditioner a while ago. Just come through the door a while ago. And uh, what a blessing it was to, to, to receive that. And we'll get to use that in our twenty in our 14 by 21. It's going to be well needed oh, as yeah. well in there. Because yeah. when you get uh, six or seven Holy Ghost filled men and women of oh, God yeah. together. Yeah. Woo, there's a fire going to be lit, it's brother. Be a fire, yeah. <laughs> Amen. So, so oh, we're excited. Fire for Jesus. Amen. So we're excited and thanking God for that wonderful gift that came through. And, and uh, man, it, it's you guys just will never know how much you have touched me this day. You'll never know when you obey God. Amen. That's what. That's what passes blessings along it's what gets souls one into the body of christ oh it makes you some enemies along the way oh, yeah. like you were saying you know i don't want to you know when she was getting ready to share the yeah. word there was yeah. she's like i didn't want to make nobody mad too late you done did you know <laughs> guarantee somebody got mad somebody, somebody got when you mad when you there. tell the truth the devil gets mad but it sets me free because Amen. it's the Lord's Amen. word. Amen. Amen. That's right. We are set free, and whom the Son is set free is free indeed. Give this a listen, and we're going to be right back just in a second. Let me get up here to it. Praise God. I can't. Uh, there it is. It took me a minute to get everything to cooperate. Amen. All right. Give this a listen and be blessed, my friends, in Jesus' name. Hello, everybody. This is Brother Grizz. I just want to wish Brother Eddie Cheney a happy late birthday i think he's a double nickels or he's getting close to it but anyways i want to wish you a happy birthday brother eddie uh my testimony of the day count every day a blessing because no matter how old you get or how far you down the road you travel god's always prepared another day for you but the question is today brothers and sisters are you prepared for the next day amen see lord makes a day for everybody he makes a beautiful day. This day has never been the same. Amen. So, brothers and sisters, keep me in prayer. Keep the house of prayer in prayer. But most of all, keep the ones you know that's lost or undone in prayer. God answers prayers. So, love all of you. God bless. What? 
what would you do? What would you do? If Jesus came to spend some time with you. If Jesus came to your house to spend a day or two. If he came unexpectedly. I wonder what you'd do. When you saw him coming, would you meet him at the door with arms outstretched in welcome to your heavenly visitor? Or would you need to change some things before you let him in? Like maybe burn some magazines and put the Bible where they've been. Oh, I know that you'd give your nicest room to such an honored guest. And all the food that you would serve to him would be the very best. And you'd keep assuring him that you were glad to have him there. That serving him in your home was joy beyond compare. But would your family conversation keep up its normal pace? And would you find it hard each meal to say a table grace? Would you be glad to have him meet your very closest friends? Or would you hope that they stayed away until his visit ends? Would you take him with you everywhere that you'd plan to go? Or maybe change your plans just for a day or so? Would you be glad to have him stay forever on and on? Or would you sigh with great relief when finally he'd gone? You know, it might be interesting to know the things that you do if Jesus came in person to spend some time with you. What would you do? What would you do? If Jesus came to spend some time with you. Praise God. Good to see Sister Jackie in the room. Amen. God bless you, sis. Sister Jackie McLean. I believe she's up in, she's a Buckeye, I believe. I believe she has moved up into Ohio, some part Amen. some part of Ohio, up in Akron. Or I, I don't know, sis, share with us where you live there, what state or county or whatever. I, I don't remember. Some part of Ohio. I do believe. Well, she's Amen. 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 Yeah, she is an awesome prayer warrior. We we was blessed to meet her many, many years ago. She was a blessing then, and she's still a blessing Amen. to us in her life. We thank God for. Remember tonight, throughout this special program, I'm asking you to share the program with your friends and family, but I'm asking you to pray. Are you one of the five rocks we're looking for tonight? God told me five rocks. We're building our own radio ministry building right here on the property that I already own, so we won't pay no rent. And uh, I'm going to, uh, I am a licensed and ordained ministry, by the way, for those of you that didn't know. We do have our, all the C-51 papers in order and all that, but we don't use them. We, we, we don't do that. We're not a tax write-off for you. We tell you to obey God. If God tells you to give, give, expecting nothing back. You know, uh, so, but anyway, we're going to give this piece of property to the radio ministry. We're going to have it uh, a lifetime diary. As long as the gospel music radio program goes on, this land can never be sold nor traded nor borrowed against. Amen. They can never be a mortgage stuck out against it. Uh, but anyway, we're going to build a, build a, a 20, a 14 by 21. Uh, we're going to call uh, this week and try to get the satellite on its way. Uh, they have to come put a pole. We're going to have satellite internet radio we're getting off of these cable and the phone company because they just do not uh keep up their lines they go in and out so much that uh that we can't uh hold on just a second we've got a phone call here on my house phone let me see hello yeah, this is Eddie who we got there Eddie Garrett. hey man brother hold on let me try to get a mic up here where they can hear this and he'll be they'll be able to hear it. I can put it on speakerphone. All right, speak again, brother. Hey, this is Pastor Eddie Garrett. 
Okay, we got you now. Now you're live on the Gospel Music Jukebox. All righty. We're praying for this little baby, Brother Eddie, that uh, was in this terrible accident last night at Cook on Highway 70. Yeah. Uh, we're, all, we're all concerned about it and the, and the parents and stuff. And, and we need everybody out there uh pray for it. Uh, pray for it and the baby if we several is going down tonight and having a prayer around her and stuff, so been praying for that matter and I just wanted to call in and let everybody uh be praying for it. It was it was just one year old. Uh huh. And and it walked out of the house, walked on the highway and Run right in front of a car. So, uh, yeah. it, 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 has Chris Ch Cheney got up with you? Yes, yes. I'm going to meet him right now. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know he left out, but him and uh, Brother Joe Wallace are on, on the way. So, that's good news, brother. Good news. Yeah. More prayer warriors. Amen. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to try to head that way here in a little bit. Um, uh, so, Keep us all in prayer. Yes. Keep the family in prayer. I mean, it, it's a tragedy what it is. I mean, it's really a tragedy. Yeah. And uh, keep me and Vicky in prayer. I went to the hospital last night. They, I was real sick. And I'm feeling a lot better today than I, I did yesterday. I'm telling you, I, I still got a little bit of it. So keep me in prayer also. Amen, brother. We are praying for you, definitely. And uh, God bless y'all, and we'll be, we'll get back to the side here, and I just wanted to call in about that little baby. Amen. I just got a, I just, amen, brother. I just got a praise thing here. Pauline says that Joe Murrow went with them. Yeah, he did. Yeah, praise God. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Amen, brother. Yeah. Well, our prayers are with you. If you need us, give us a call. But we're praying for you. God bless you. All right. God bless. God bless. Bye-bye. Praise the Lord. Amen. Pastor Eddie Garrett calling from out of Cookville, Tennessee. Amen. And uh, all that touched my heart. That's my son-in-law, Joe Merle. Uh, went went with them to go pray for this child, Amen. So uh, praise the Lord you know, on that one, Amen. We're honored that we've got a prayer team of uh, prayer warriors going that way amen. from the Gospel Music Jukebox. My son Chris and Pastor Eddie Garrett. He's amen. a big part of the Gospel Music Jukebox, as well as all of them. Joe Murrow, my my whole family is just such a blessing. Uh, I, I'm truly blessed. God has blessed me supersonic naturally. I'm telling you, amen. Uh, my God, I can't thank Him enough for what he's done for my family and me and, and uh, putting people like you sister terry brother bobby in 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 our lives here and uh, uh my god it just uh I, there's no way words don't sufficient say what needs to be said but please tonight throughout the program remember that little one-year-old baby that wandered out of the house there in cookville tennessee and Amen. got and uh you know and remember that driver he they're taking it pretty hard oh yeah it was an accident of course a one-year-old baby you can't hardly see yeah. and you're not expecting to be in the road neither i'm, I'm sure the circumstances it is a horrific accident let's pray for all involved that mm -hmm. god minister and, and touch each and every one involved Put pray on all of them. amen and pray for all those that are going down uh, and involved uh, you know uh, uh like we went the other night and mm -hmm. and chris was on the radio and he continued you know that's one good thing there's enough of us we reach out in many different areas amen. and we still get the gospel music jukebox out there to get you praying about this see if we hadn't have been here then you might not have heard about this at this moment and yeah. able to hear pastor eddie and, and evangelist chris say hey pray for us now mm -hmm. pray for this baby now we're on our way we're going to circle this child with prayer we're going to take prayer claws down pastor mac and his church here in uh, lawrence chapel church of god Amen. of prophecy they prayed over uh brother uh sam uh, vandiver sold into it gash money i sold in the gospel music jukebox sold in amen 
right now. Amen. Sent prayer clauses with them. Uh, so we, we, it's a body operation. Amen. It's a body operation. And we thank God for each and every one that just gets up and obeys the Lord. But prayers work too, people, and the Lord still answers prayers to this day. Yes. So He's changed not. Pray. Amen. That's right. He's the same yesterday, today, and, and forevermore. Amen. My God, ain't that awesome news to know. Father, I ask you to extend Ooh. those guardian angels on yes. Eddie and them as they travel to Nashville, return yes. them safely home to their loved ones. Oh, yes. Thank so, you, Lord. just Father, we thank you for all the blessings. And we done ask for this child yeah. and you know in our hearts you know that we're need. still standing on the yes. the healing and the driver father yes. please put a calm and yes. a healing on them and give them strength to get through this yes father. lord in the name of jesus, jesus we ask name. this amen amen be blessed we'll be right back hey brother eddie this is shirley from pike county and wanted to just thank the lord for another day and for all the blessings he's given me and for all the people he's put in my life and always supplying my needs. And if I have friends out there that need to call in and, and give their testimonies of how good God's been to them, and God bless you all. And happy birthday to you, Eddie. Love you all. Amen. Thank you, Sister Shirley, from up there in God's country, up there where they have to pump that sunshine in, up in Pikeville, Kentucky. You guys know what I'm talking about. Them hollers be so steep, you know. You you live in a holler up in that part of the country. Uh, if you don't know what a holler is, it ain't your mommy hollering for you. That's right. <laughs> it's, you're out of the sun's view for a while. You live down in the in the holler. Amen. Um Praise God. <laughs> All right. We got phones ringing. Tonight, we don't have a live call-in number, but those of you that know my personal home number, they're using it. But if you want to call and share your testimony, you can do so tonight right here on the program by dialing the testimony line. We are sharing them throughout this program. 931-229-0768. Uh, <clears throat> the regular phone line we use for live call-ins is down. The Internet's out, and uh, we, we don't have access to that number. It, it will It's a non-working number at this time. If you call it, we can't access it. If you leave any messages there, we can't get to them. So please use this testimony line uh, uh, for the Gospel Music Jukebox radio program. Use it if you're going to be one of our rocks. You dial 931-229-0768, and you say, hey, I'm a rock, and I want to be faithful $100 a month, and we're talking about a lifetime commitment here for the Gospel Music Jukebox to continue to share the gospel, the good news of Jesus Christ. Now, we tell you to obey God. If at any time you hear garbage going over this program and I'm dead and gone, I'd have to be dead and gone, and uh, it's not the word of God, then I would assume one of them rocks to come and get it in order. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Come and, and rebuke whoever's not of God and tell them to repent and get right with God. But <clears throat> the gospel music jukebox will carry on even at my death, friends. God has told me it will go until his return. And he's coming sooner than you realize. He's coming. Tonight could be your night to meet old man death. Have you got things right with God? Are you where you need to be? Are you bathed in the blood as we hear the word from Sister Terry? Are you bathed in the blood? <clears throat> Are you born again? Have you been to the water hole? Have you got on the full armor of God? If you don't, right now, this moment, this is your hour. Today is the day of salvation. Get things right with God, my friend, before you run out of time. Get things right with God before you run out of time. Amen. All right. Give this. Let's see. Not we missed a call. So uh, we're going to jump down here to the next one. It didn't have nothing there. All right. Give this a listen and be blessed, and we'll be right back. Hello, Brother Eddie. This is Brother Boyd Lyman in Idaho. I love you, and I'm praying for you right now. The Internet's out of the house, but I'm glad I can make these calls in. And uh, I just wanted to talk a little bit about the, the cries and the calls of God to help the needy. Uh, back in the cities of Sodom and, Sodom and Gomorrah, I remember the burning sulfur and fire rained down and destroyed those cities. I said part of the problem was they were overfed 
and they didn't take care of the needy. They neglected the poor. And, of course, they were caught up in all kinds of sexual sin, perversion, and God just rained the fire down and burned those cities up. But the people could care less about loving people and helping needy people. And you see the rich young man that came up to Jesus who had to have followed the commandments. Jesus looked at him and loved him. He said, one thing you lack, go and sell your possessions and give to the poor and then come follow me. It's the heart of Jesus that helped the poor. You can see in the parable of the sheep and the goats, he talks about us helping anyone in need, even the people in the hospitals and the prisons like we've been doing here. And he says when you help a brother or sister or someone out there in need, you're doing it for Jesus himself. Then he goes on and says there will be a distinction between the goats that didn't help anyone, that didn't care, and they will one day be separated from the sheep who did help people, and they will be sent to hell to burn in the fire forever there because they did not care, they did not love people, they did not help people. It's the heart of God and the heart of Jesus to be helping the needy. One of the biggest scriptures in the Bible is James 1.27. He says the religion that God likes and what he likes is doing is taking care of the orphans. The fatherless, the widows, those destitute people out there that have no hope, we're supposed to be giving them hope and taking care of them and showing them the love of God and the love of Jesus. I'm very grateful for brothers like Brother Eddie where I can see his love for people like the homeless people and how he cares for them and loves them and helps them and shows them that they have hope through Jesus, hope that Jesus can deliver them from their situations and the trials and the challenges that they face being homeless and hope that they can one day go to heaven because Jesus promises to heal and to help us all. And I've been working with people in prisons and with orphan kids. I love those orphan kids. We pray for them by name each day. But I know there's many out there that say they're Christians. They don't want to help any people. They could care less. And I feel sorry for them because one day they may end up being separated from God and Jesus and not making it for heaven if they're hard-hearted in their hearts like that. So I hope we can all truly have love and care for and help the needy people out there and the people that need to preach to to get sin out of their life also. We love you all and we're praying for you and God bless you. Amen. Oh, 
God bless. Hey, good to see Sister Rachel Honeycutt with us tonight right here at the Gospel Music Jukebox. Hey, tonight's special program, remember, we're looking for five rocks. Pray. If you be one of those rocks, I'm talking about a rock that says, hey, I'm going to give $100 a month to the Gospel Music Jute Box for the building of our new radio station. Yeah. I'm talking about we're building it from scratch up right out here on the ground that's been given and donated to the ministry for the Gospel Music Jute Box. We're calling uh, tomorrow, getting the wheels turning. We're going satellite internet. Yeah. Yeah. We're getting away from these cables and telephone companies. Yeah. They're yeah. not reliable. Uh, uh, I believe even now we're cutting out. Uh, they're saying on on the on the sound quality, but if you can hear us by faith, no, we're asking you to pray. If you're one of them rocks that you pray and God says you support the gospel yeah. music you box, yeah. we're looking for five rocks because we don't ask people to give. Uh, you can you can obey God here and you don't got to pay for it. Amen. Right. Amen. 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 But we are asking those five rocks because we make one rock that's going to kill the giant. You understand? We unite as one. Yeah. It's like the fist. There's five rocks little yeah. David picked up, but he only needed one. Those five united and became as one. I want you to be one with us. The five rocks, you call the testimony line at 931-229-0768, and you say, I'm one of them rocks, and uh, give me a number. I'll call you back. I'll share the mailing information with you. It's 219 Red Fox Drive, Crossville, Tennessee, 38571. And you can get that check out in the mail. Uh, we are going to be buying new material. This is going to be built from the ground up. Yeah. We'll be starting on it tomorrow, this week, as we get the phone calls going. We've got some 2 by 6s 2 by 8s We may have enough for hype of the foundation uh, now but we'll have to have material coming in, you know, all week long. Oh, yeah. We're going to try yeah. to get this built as quickly as we can, but we're going to have the Internet satellite as quickly as we can. Yeah. And uh, yeah. I'll be doing that out, uh, out of that little room I'm in, the little 8 by 10 <laughs> sweat box, I call yeah. it. As everybody that's been there knows, it's hot, brother, uh, with all this equipment. Uh, but the Lord told us to build a 14 by 21, and uh, that's the just gospel music jukebox radio station yeah. we're going to have our own satellite a uh, little tower thing with a satellite on it and we're going to continue to broadcast the good news the gospel of jesus christ to a lost and dying world amen all right um uh, we'll be having revival in Akron, Ohio before long. Oh, yeah, that's uh, Ann telling uh, Chris. I believe that uh, Jackie may be. Uh, I don't know. I didn't see the post, and I can't back up. But she lives in some part of Ohio. Maybe she'll get to be part of that revival and help them. Yeah, amen. 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 Come out amen. and sing and just obey the Lord. My God, that will be awesome. We, uh, we've we asked the Lord, the Gospel Music Jukebox tries to show up at these tent revivals and broadcast live yeah. from tent revivals so uh we've got a, a separate unit while i'm gone or while somebody's up there broadcasting we got a little portable unit we're putting together oh, yeah. we've been experimenting yeah. with it and we're getting better at it the first couple of tries wasn't too good <laughs> <laughs> so we got we're still learning but uh but you know we're 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 uh we're still figuring out how to do it. Hopefully, we'll have that in place yeah. by this tent revival. Beat the devil. Amen. Amen. We're beating him. We, Beat we've the already devil. won. Yeah. All we got to do is show up because we're more than conquerors through Christ. Amen. Amen. Praise God. We just got to keep on keeping on Amen. and uh, not ashamed to stand up and, and swing the bat for Jesus. Right. We're going to keep swinging until we get these five rocks. Every program, this is going to be mentioned. If it takes 15 years, we're going <laughs> to keep mentioning it. Hey, if you're one of the rocks, we need you to obey God. We need you to say, I'm talking about sold out to the rest of our life as long as we live to get behind this gospel music jukebox yeah. where it don't have to depend on just fives and tens coming in. Yeah. That's yeah. good we get those yeah. oh, because yeah, that's those good. is what's been keeping us going. Yeah. And I mean by the skin of her teeth, we're, but we're going. we're going. And now we're stepping out in faith and, and asking God uh, to fulfill this vision that he gave me of these five rocks. I know God told me five rocks. Mm -hmm. Hundred dollars a month. That's five. That's that's a hundred dollars from each rock. That's five hundred dollars a month. That runs the ministry. Yeah. We can still give out the hundred CDs a month. We can still send out the 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 uh, prayer crosses and prayer cloths. Uh, we can still get the the building built. 
uh, of course, uh, you know, I'm giving my part and more. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. You better believe that. Uh, amen. Because uh, the Lord told me to. <laughs> and today we were blessed with the air conditioner, a brand new one to go I in. I heard about that. To go yeah, in. I heard Amen. about that. Yeah. Amen. I Thank believe you God. offered to help pack it in. <laughs> yeah, I offered to help you. Yeah. <laughs> After Sister Terry picked that up out of the trunk, yeah. hey, wasn't no way I was not going to pack that. She picked that up and went, it ain't heavy. You know how women will do. You know, and I'm like, yeah, I know it ain't heavy. It's heavy. That's why I was trying to get you to let me help you there so she could say oh, I was doing something. Old man pride, you know. Oh, nah. but, uh, but we're thanking God that we have a brand new air conditioner, so it won't have to be called the sweat box. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Change name on Praise that. Praise God. Yeah. yeah, boy, we've sweated down there, I'm telling you, in this little building. Tonight, we're broadcasting off of uh, Internet uh, 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 Spirit Broadband, which ain't no good. Uh, ain't worth a flip, neither. It's been going in and out for the last, well, three months, the same way as our Frontier Internet oh, did. Yeah. Uh, it goes out. pre. It'll, it could go out tonight. I don't know. It went out today three or four times. And then it comes back on, goes back. And we've called them and called them and called them and called them till we're exhausted from calling. Yeah, so yeah. for the gospel music jukebox, now not my home. My home is, remains on this raunchy internet because the TV does good. Yeah. The kids have TV. Yeah. Uh, but now for the gospel music jukebox, we're going satellite. We're only satellite. We're getting off of these phone lines and these uh, these these TV line cables. We want to make sure, beyond a shadow of a doubt, that every night at 8 p.m., the Gospel Music Jukebox program yeah. goes out live. Yeah. I know you have the archives. And remember, we're praying because before Christmas, we're going to go 24-7 live. Mm. That means no archives. That means it's live radio round the, clock. round the clock. That means you guys better be praying and getting read up and calling. Call in and help me. <laughs> Amen. 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 And uh, I'm, I've been talking to local ministers, and I'm going to continue to talk. I've been getting rejected. So far, we don't have no nobody local, a pastor coming and helping us from right here in Crossville. But, but that's all right. Uh, we're going to continue to obey the Lord. I believe God is putting it on the heart of pastors as we speak. You know, that says, Eddie, hey, I, I'm going to get involved. I don't quite understand why the pastors don't come down and help you out a little bit i mean if they called you and needed you at midnight you would be there with them i you went know. i went they called yeah me. yeah so, you know it, it they, wouldn't they, take them just to walk in and spend five or ten minutes would with make, you, you know? makes a big difference it shows oh, yeah, love it shows you know love. they called me and said hey we're having a benefit you know we're raising money for a new instruments i went and yep. encourage people to go. We'll continue to do so, whether they come and help me or not. Yep. But yep. but it would make a little bit of a it difference if they would difference. would show me a little love yep. back. I'd yep. love to I'd love to feel the love back. You know, most of them really are scared because they say that we speak too plain and we'll their their congregation they have boards and they oh, they don't yeah. want them to get involved because we preach against denominationalism so some pastors just can't go do what they want to or need to because For, their board won't let them or they're they super get fired. yeah they get yeah. hard yeah. they get voted in they can be voted, voted out. out now that's a right. and that's real and, and, and some of them have, you know, houses and children, so they're they're trying to obey God. Some of them, and some of them is just hardens. They're in there for the money, so and there's no the money God. here at the Gospel Music Jukebox. I'm not going to pay nobody to preach the gospel. Right. Now, I will right. bless those that come, Yeah, just like we yeah. did tonight. We tried to bless Chris yeah. uh, for guys on this journey. We, we try to bless others with, the, uh, you know, if we, we see a need, we move on. Yeah. We yeah. move on the need. Yeah. If there's no need, then we're not going right. to just give it right. to be given right. so you'll like us. Yeah. It ain't yeah. about you liking yeah. us. It's about you obeying God. Obeying if you God. obey God, God will put it upon the heart of his people, and they'll give heave offerings. I'm telling telling you, uh, God takes care of his children. Amen. Right, amen. But we're not going to book nobody. We're not going to hire nobody, you know, and say, well, we'll bless you with a hundred dollar gas love. Yeah. We're, we don't do that. It's not biblical and we're not going to do it. Right. We do it the Bible way. Uh, right. amen. Amen. Uh, so that it may take 15 years to get fire rock. I don't know. <laughs> a lot of people don't like it when you do it the Bible way. Right. They say you're too literal. And, uh, you know, that you got to, you know, give a little to get a little. I ain't giving. I'm not for sale. Uh, right. It's the Bible way or no way. Right. Now, that's how you're going to get to heaven. Well, doing by them. Jesus or, or you ain't going. Tell them go First Peter 4.10. Serve faithfully 
as every man hath received the gift, even so minister the same one to another, as good stewards of the manifold grace of God. Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. God, the word of God to the people of God. Amen. Uh, all right, we got a lot of things going on. Okay, Pauline's asking Rachel, hey, how's, tell them, I said I love them, how's the family? Uh, yeah, uh, I called Pastor Jordan the other day. He, they were close to us. Well, not real close, but about midway. They were down there in uh, ah, Pigeon Forge, I think. Yeah. Anyway, we had to go through there taking uh, our new friend Mike uh, to Asheville, North Carolina. Yeah. So I called him, you know. I said, hey, hey, brother, we coming close by. You you got a bologna sandwich? <laughs> and uh, he said, no, but we got some pizza. He said, oh, we got good. two pieces left. But he said, brother, it is the traffic. He said, would take you about two hours to get to the motel oh, that they was oh, in. He said, he said, Eddie, it's really bad. I said, brother, I was just calling to get you to pray for us on a journey, which he done. And uh, But uh, I could smell that pizza through the phone. No, no, I no, could no, smell no. it. It smelled good. And, uh, I, you know, so what we thank God for Pastor Jordan. Those of you that don't know him or Sister Rachel, check them out on Facebook. I'm telling you, she shares the Word of God. She has, uh, uh, they're on fire for God. If you're up in Knock County, Kentucky, uh, amen, and, and you want to get involved in a ministry, uh, Sister Rachel, she jumped in and helps out uh, uh, Saving America One Soul at a Time and their outreach. So you want to get a hold of her, and she'll definitely. Uh, She'll get them stirred up there. I'm telling you, she'll, she'll work that phone. And uh, if it's a need that's real. We met them at the Soul Filling Station Rock Church there in Cookville. I think they was there a couple times. I know they was there once. Yeah. They might have been there a couple times. Amen. Uh -huh. But mighty fine people. Mm -hmm. God is just that's flowing good. over them. Amen. Mighty fine people. Amen. We love Sister Rachel. And her husband, we love them. Yeah, praise the Lord. Their little girl, uh, Gracie. Oh, oh, oh Gracie. Gracie. She's, she's a blessing. Man, oh Gracie that, is, is wonderful. When she calls in live and yeah. just shares those songs yeah. and those oh. testimonies, oh. she'll Amen. pray for her nanny and her yeah. pebbles. Yeah. And my that's God. That's from the heart of a that's child. That's from the heart. That's why we got to get this satellite and get her phone Amen. back up. Yeah. Live calls. Tonight, we can't take live calls. Um, you know, uh, uh, I mean... The phone's dead, and I fired the internet company. <laughs> I called them up, and I fired them. I said, you come get your line, your stuff, and I said, I will spend the money that God's given me to a company that will get behind us yeah, and uh, yeah. give us some uh, support teams that will help keep this internet yeah. going. It's important to me that we go on the air every night at 8 p.m. Central Time. Amen. It's important to me because a part of the testimony you shared, just just one, your mother, how old is she? My mom is 75 years old. 75 years old. And you were pulling strings on her, and she went up in church today and gave her life back to Jesus. My God. Amen. Thank she, you, Father. She listened to the gospel music jukebox because Brother Bobby over yeah, here, yeah. hey, he's like me. He's smart. Every he, night. He, he, he tunes in and turns it up loud. Amen. Up loud. Amen. So here we had mom in law your mom, oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Terry's mom, going through the house listening. Yeah. Then it got to the point where she told you, said, ain't it about time ain't for that it, little man? Ain't it about time for that little man? Amen. Amen. Yeah, that internet. Time I'm, for that little man. I'm that little internet man. Amen. And she took my chair at the kitchen table and Praise sat God. in it listening the wow. entire time. Praise God. Ain't God good? Amen. Amen. And she didn't fall asleep neither. She'll sit there and she'll just agree with everything you say. She's agreeing with you. Yes. Amen. You do got your mics on when you're talking, don't you? Yeah. So yeah. I'm you, on. Uh, I'm amen. On. If Thank you don't, you, you won't be going out but barely. Amen. amen. People, All right. Brother Eddie needs some rocks. And, and I'm telling you, won't you all go to Titus in you, King James Version Bible. And let me tell you, start at verse 11. For the grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared to all men, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world. And I know that Satan makes everything look good today, people, but just it's just not worth it. Your home eternally in heaven is what's worth it. Yes. You, you give your life to the Lord, and you got a mansion waiting on you. 
golden streets to walk upon. It's peaceful. You're not going to be sick anymore. You're not going to be hurting anymore. Your body's not going to ache. I'm telling you, mm. I work hard. I, I got aches and pains, but you know the Lord wakes me up every day. Thank God. And for every ache and pain I've got, I'm thankful and grateful for him because I'm still able to work. Those of you that's not able to work, Lord still wakes you up because you're a blessing to somebody. You you are meant to be in somebody's life. You're meant to be there. Yeah. It doesn't matter if you work or not. Just live life. Look to the Lord. Get in the Word. Amen. Looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Who gave himself for us, that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto himself a peculiar people, zealous of good works. These things speak and exhort and rebuke with all authority. Let no man despise thee. I'm telling y'all right now, everybody says I'm weird and odd. I don't care a bit. I'm a child of <laughs> God. On. I Amen. am Amen. That's but right. But that's okay. That's I, right. They say, how come you smile so much? Because Jesus loves me. Ooh, I'm a child God. of God. I said, let me tell you about my Jesus. He's still alive today. He's still doing miracles. He woke me up this morning. Yeah. He lets me breathe. He's got this job for me. We work together. Yes, my work is hard, but let me tell you, Jesus has a reward for me later. I'm going home to yeah. heaven. <laughs> I look for him in that eastern sky. I listen for that trump of God to say, calling me home. Lift me up. Let me go. I ain't got no worries no more. No bills. No pain. I'm gone. Come on. Come on. Consider me gone. I, you know, send a chariot for yeah. me. And, you know, <laughs> God. Lord, Amen. if I got to climb stairs, I'm gone. Yeah, I hear and, you. You know, just fix me some stair steps. Ooh. I'll climb them every one. Climb them it don't ladder. matter. Just Come on. let me go home Praise with glory. <laughs> I want to see everybody there. You Amen. know, I just, we should have a great big huge family reunion, Amen. you know. Amen. Just I, I want me a pair of wings. Yeah. I, I, I just got one question though. Uh oh. If I wear them wings out, uh -huh. is he gonna have yeah. a spare pair yeah. waiting on me? Because I, I mean I wanna fly the River Jordan, Ooh, see the out. sights they used to see, Ooh. and then I wanna hover over the streets to go as yeah. my Lord's walking. Oh, my God. I wanna listen to the stories yeah. as he tells them. Yeah. Don't wanna miss them. Yeah. And then you know I got to go to the pearly gates yeah. to see who's yeah. arrived. Yeah, you gotta find and I'm gonna out. hover there for yeah. a little while. Yeah. Yeah. Then I wanna go hear the angels uh -huh. singing. Yeah. And then I wanna Ooh. join in the choir. My and then goodness. I just want to fly over all the mansions and see who all's there. All them sights and glory. The wall of Jasper. My you know, goodness. just take me everywhere. But Ooh. my wings are going to wear out. <laughs> you know this, Sister, right? Sister Rachel says, they won't wear out, sis. Praise God. I don't know. I'm going to be a busy <laughs> little busy. person you buzzing around. Say, I told them, Lord, give me a spare I pair said, of wings I in said, the corner, please. I, hey, man, I said, y'all better pray for me because when I get to heaven, you better believe me and Jesus going to be preaching revival. Amen. <laughs> Amen. I said, well, said yeah. y'all think you've had to hear me preach here? Wait till we get wait, to heaven. Wait till and I'll be at the heaven. feet of yeah. Jesus. Oh, that's man. where I'm yeah. going to be. I'm talking about with my precious Lord at the feet Amen. of Jesus Christ. I'm going to be there first. My God just worshiping him and Amen. just crying loud and sparing not and letting him know how much I love him. Yeah. But Amen. are we going to be able to talk or are we just going to be in awe? Know. I'm going to be so busy crying. I don't know if you I know, can I'm do anything. You know, I'm just going to be thank you, <laughs> Thank you, Lord, for saving a wretch Praise like me. God. Thank you for washing yeah. away my Praise sins, setting my spirit free. Woo. Thank you for letting me speak your word and learning it on here. The thing you know, that, just that thank you, waiting, Father. The things that are waiting on us in heaven is I know, unspeakable. Oh. My God, God's good. Amen. Amen. Hey, remember tonight, throughout this special program now, we're, we're crying out for five rocks. We need, I'm going to just say tonight, claim one victory. Come on. Pick up the phone, dial 931-229-0768 and say, I want to be that rock. $100 a month, faithfully. I'm talking about a lifetime commitment. The rest of our life, as long as, now if I die and somebody gets on the gospel music jukebox that's preaching garbage, 
You know, and it ain't the word of God. I expect that rock, wherever he may be, that faithful sower to show up and say, hey, I rebuke that. Yeah. Let's get yeah. this back in order. The gospel music jukebox belongs to the Lord. Belongs it is the, the Lord, body yeah. of Christ radio program that they can come to and knowing beyond a shadow of a doubt that they're going to hear the truth, the word of God go forth. Yeah, Not a, a ear tickling message to try to fleece the people of God, but the truth to set the people of God free. Amen. Because whom the Son is set Amen. free is free indeed. But tonight we need five rocks. We're asking for one to call the phone, 931 229 and say, leave me a message because I, I'm, I'll have to call you back uh, when my cell phone, I have to go outside. They won't work in the house. I have to go outside. Uh, but I'll call you back and uh, we'll click up with the mailing information, and you can uh, obey God. And we're, we're starting on the project tomorrow evening right here in Crossville, Tennessee at 219 Red Fox Drive, 38571. Uh, that's where we're going to build it, right here on the lot, right here. We're going to build a, a 14 by 21 right off the, the, the back of my home. We're going to run the central air and heat duct unit in it so we won't need another air conditioner. There you go. That's right. That's tucked care of. We used a little one in the office, and we'll vent uh, uh, two vents off yeah. of my trailer yeah. right into that room. Yeah. So uh, yeah. God's taking care of all that. It's going to be yeah. open from 8 o'clock to 11 o'clock Central Time for people to stop by. Uh, worship the Lord. It's big enough. The pulpit will be in the middle. Tables will be lined around all four walls Amen. and mics at every chair. So everyone has an opportunity to be heard on the live on the radio program yep. as yep. they testify and just worship God. Yep. And if the preacher mm-hmm. preaches, uh, amen, and amen. they want to have some Holy Ghost shouting yeah. room, yeah. it's yeah. going to be there. We, and, and, and we're going to have our own satellite dish shooting right up off the roof, yeah. say uh, the gospel music jukebox. Amen. amen. And uh, we're just going to keep it going. So if you think you're, you pray, if you're that faithful rock that says, hey, I'm getting five, that's, that's $100 a month. Five of those rocks make $500 a month, plus my money that I'm given makes uh, right at $1,000 a month. That's going to run the radio and build the building. I've yeah. got about, I want to get this building built with, within about a month. I want to get it built. So I need your help. Uh, I need those rocks to obey God. Yeah. Now, we do have people that sow. We've got four people that sow, and that's all we got. Uh, yeah, it's four people that sow, uh, you know, 10. We got a $10 sower a month, and then we got one that sold uh, $25, but they don't sow that every time. Mm-hmm. They just sow what they can, yeah, and you can yeah. still continue to do that because that goes to the running of the ministry, everything. Like tonight when I give Chris gas money, that's that's gospel music jukebox money. Yeah. That's gas money to, to sow into the project reaching out. That's what we do here at the gospel music jukebox we reach out and when we see a need now you better know this we always verify the need and see if it's real because we've been took advantage now i know people's gonna lie to you and con you but we do try to call and verify and really check to make sure it is a need yeah and the bible says when you see a need so when we see that it's a need we get involved that's what we do and that costs money and i couldn't do that without your help even if it's a dollar a month you know, you obey God, but those five rocks, I'm talking five about rocks. God said they would give and it wouldn't hurt them. Yeah. And now God blesses you. You give looking for nothing in return. But God told me that they would be five rocks that would give a lifetime commitment of a hundred dollars a month. And uh, with me and what the Lord's allowed me to work and uh, my, my part and what I give every month anyway, uh, it's going to be run and we don't have to depend on we don't pass an offering plate here at the Gospel Music Jukebox. We have a donation can. Amen. If you want to give, you can give, but we're not going to embarrass you. We're not going to. In other words, I'm not going to bag you. I'm going to ask you to obey ask, God. Yeah. But I'm not going to. I'm not bagging you. I don't have to bag for bread. You can either be a part of this or not. Yeah. It ain't going to affect me because I'm going on with Jesus there just the go. same. Amen. Amen. And we're going to build this. Yeah. And if you want to be part and you're listening, you pray and you obey God. Amen. 219 Red Fox Drive, Crossville, Tennessee, 38571. If God tells you to $3, do that. 
you're you're not one of them rocks for a lifetime commitment. You're just going to give what well, God's telling yeah, you tonight. Yeah, we'll do yeah. that. But if you're one of the rocks, you just call 931-229-0768. Leave that message. Say, I want to be a rock. Here's my phone number. Call me back, evangelist, and I will call you. And uh, make sure you have the mailing information right. You just simply make a check out or money order out to evangelist Eddie Cheney, 219 Red Fox Drive, Crossville, Tennessee, 38571. You just obey the Lord because this is going whether you're a part or not. I pray you're a part. I pray tonight that every listener that comes into that chat room gets involved and says, I'm a, I want to be a part. I want to be a part of this. Yeah. Uh, because uh, you you just don't know until you, if you've never stepped out in faith and just done something for God, you don't know what you're missing. And I can't explain it to you because, because, because you can talk the talk all day, but until you begin to walk the walk and really step out in faith and trust God, make up your mind and get behind a move of God. God that is on that is real with God and on fire for God, whether it be the gospel music jukebox or uh, your a ministry right next door to you, it's somewhere you you know you see God moving. Well, get involved. Get involved. Get involved. Whether it be your money, your time, your presence. I mean, my God, but be a faithful doer. Yeah. Obey the Lord, whatever He's told you to do, whatever it is. So you pray tonight if you're one of them rocks. Please call 931-229-0768. That's $100 a month. We're asking for a lifetime commitment. Not to me, just saying that you want to be behind the spreading of the gospel for the rest of our lives yeah. or until Jesus calls us out. Next, yeah. I mean, I, hey, that may be next week. Yeah, I don't know. Be, Any be second. Tonight. Could be tonight, couldn't it? Be tonight. Amen. We are not promised tomorrow. The blink of an eye. Mm-hmm. We could be gone. I'm telling you, we could be out of here yeah. through death. I mean, I may die. I may die tonight. Yeah. I may mm-hmm. leave this world tonight. My God, wouldn't that be awesome to die preaching on the gospel music? Oh, amen. My God, listen. If I fall over, don't you dial nine one one. Don't you take me to hospital. You pray that God's will be done in my life. If God raises me up, we'll praise God. Yeah. If God takes me on, praise, praise God. God, brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Woo! What a way to go. Have a amen. celebration of your life. Amen. amen. Praise amen. God. Uh, uh, Okay, uh, unless things have changed, Saving America is going to be at our house. I don't think anything has changed. Amen. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Sister Ann's sharing a little bit about that. Uh, Saving America, one soul at a time, they're building an outreach building. Amen. And, and we're going to be part of that. We're going to try to help get some lumber to them, and we're going to we're going to be helping to go over there and drive a nail or two as well, yeah. because they're they're if I'm right, uh, uh, as I can remember, uh, evangelist Chris sharing with me some of the things their building is going to be to go through things that they give away, mm-hmm. and they're going to have church services open in it. Yeah. They're going to have singings in it. Amen. They're going to have food giveaways and things like that, and help the homeless. And they're just they're connected to us. Amen. I mean, my son Saving America once all the time is connected to the gospel music oh, jukebox. Yeah. We're connected to them. Not only is he my blood son, but he's my brother in the Lord. And uh, we're connect- We're double connected. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And what a blessing it is. What a blessing it is. So we've got a lot of projects going on and uh, we need you, the listener, you, my family, yes, you, to obey God. If you're one of the rocks for the gospel music program right here, the gospel music jukebox, God told me to ask for five. If you're one of them, dial 931-229-0768 and say, hey, I'm a rock. And uh, I'll call you back. We'll make sure you got the mailing information right. We'll get this thing underway. And you just obey God. You do that. You'll be blessed. We'll be blessed. And the listeners will be blessed. Amen. Amen. I see. I'm so glad Joe went. We just found out right before he left that his grandpa fell and broke his hip and was in Cookville in surgery, and he's in recovery, he's in recovery now. Uh, Thank you, The Lord. zip code, uh, it's 38571. That's the zip code to uh, Crossville, Tennessee, my mailing address. Uh, we'll, we'll be posting it here uh, in the chat room a, as well, just in a few moments. Uh, we'll be posting the mailing address. Uh, my wife might be able to type it in, but um, the zip code is 38571. She did it's, type it. 
typing it. Yeah, they're typing it. Amen. <laughs> but uh, if, if someone would type in, I can't type, but you guys can type in. Uh, the mailing address is Evangelist Eddie Cheney, or you can put the Gospel Music Jukebox, 219 Red Fox Drive, Crossville, Tennessee, 38571. That's the zip code. All right. Praise the Lord. All right. Uh, okay. Uh, a lot of things going on. Let's remember to pray for Joe's uh, papa, I believe it was. Mm -hmm, his grandpa. Uh, he's out of surgery, uh, they said. There, I thought. I can't back my chat up. Watch this, you guys. You're here in the studio. Watch what happens if I try to back up. It won't do it. It won't It won't let me. It, it quivered. Look here. That's what it does. Hmm. I can't back up. See, I can't Well, anyway, back up. Joe's grandpa come out of surgery. He's uh -huh. in recovery right now. We, right. we need to say a prayer for him for a fast healing. Lead, lead us there. Praise God. Yes, Lord. Dear Heavenly Father, we come yes. to you to ask for a fast healing laid upon Joe's grandpa. Yes. For yes. he's on a mission to go pray for a child that is in need of prayer. And in the meantime, we're going to pray for his grandpa. Yes. Healing, Father. For you say, ask and we shall receive. Yes. You are the way, the truth, and the light, and through you all things can be accomplished. Yes, Father, Lord. us three sitting here and those listening in, we shall be one mind and one accord at this time. We're asking in the name of Jesus, your son, to heal him fast. Yes. Put him back on his feet. Yes. And, Father, we know that you can do this with just a slight touch of your hand. We're asking in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Hey, I got to praise God. God's good. I, another little announcement. Hey, you guys, my wife is going to be helping me Monday nights, 8 o'clock, with a program. Oh, yeah. Amen. Monday it's nights is going to be mine and her calling. night that we're going to. Now, anybody's still welcome to come and sit in and help us. Yeah. But Monday night, she's going to be helping me. And we're going to be doing a lot of programming on Monday nights. It's going to be geared for married couples. Amen. Uh, you know, we're going to gear it. We've been 36 years. I think we got a little we information we can share. We Amen. Well, you got this some, time you, you got some information. Uh, Amen. A lot of experience. A lot of experience so, floating yeah, around. Yeah. Uh, a lot of yes and no stuff we can share. Uh -huh. This you don't do <laughs> one thing is you do not tell your wife you do not demand you know That's do right. this or do that you know you don't you ask nicely it <laughs> be done <laughs> if we have time you know i gotta say i did really didn't have to ask my wife but she spoiled me well that's my that wife have absolutely spoiled me I mean, I'm spoiled. I am a spoiled. So we're going to be talking about things like that Monday, and I'm I'm so excited. And now this internet problem, uh, I'm hoping it stays on and in at least mm -hmm. be in Monday night till we get our satellite going. But uh, this thing, uh, I, I'm excited about this program. We've not got a name for it yet, but of course it's going to be the Gospel Music Jukebox. But mm -hmm. Monday nights at 8 p.m. Central Time, tune in. It's uh, going to be me. Your, your host, Evangelist Eddie Cheney, and my lovely wife, Pauline Cheney, as we minister the Word of God to you. Uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be awesome. Marriage um, ties that bind. Yeah, marriage ties the bind. Amen. Mm -hmm. That's a good name. We'll definitely pray. Amen. Uh, yep, Jesus and the one uh, at uh, Irene's to Oh, Jesse uh, told Chris he'd go anywhere, life out loud. Uh, I, I don't know what that was. J E. J E S S. Mm -hmm. Yep, Jess, and the, the one at Irving's. Irving's too told Chris he go. I missed half of the conversation. He'd go anywhere. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, my, they're talking about Joe may be an evangelist. Amen. I <laughs> praise God. Amen. Uh, you 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 never know what God's going to call you, but when He calls you. Go forth and be obedient to the Lord. Amen. Just I'm excited fine. for, for uh, Joe Merle. Uh, I'm excited for anyone that steps up and accept Jesus Christ uh, in, back into their life. Joe, ha in his situation, he had backslid on God. Uh, he, he, you know, so uh, during one of these tent revivals here in his yard, uh, he came back to the Lord. Amen. So we're Thanks thanking God Father. for that and, and excited about what God's doing in his life. Amen. Praise Amen. God. All right, guys, give this a listen and we'll be right back. Remember, use that testimony line tonight. 
Are you going to call? You can share your testimony, uh, 931-229-0768, and let the world know that you're not ashamed uh -uh, of what God has done for you in your life. Be an overcomer tonight. Pick up the phone. Overcome the enemy with the word of your testimony and the blood of the Lamb. Stand and cry loud and spare not, church. And if you're one of the rocks, just say, hey, I'm the rock. I'm one of the rocks. Call me, evangelist. You dial 931-229-0768. Get involved. Help us as we grow here at the Gospel Music Jute Box. The plans are laid out. You now know the plans. We're starting construction on the building room tomorrow evening. We'll be calling about getting the satellite in order. And as the funds come in, we're going to build the building, and we're going to continue to share the good news, the gospel of Jesus Christ to a lost and dying world. Amen. Amen. We just simply need you to obey God. You do that, and you're going to be blessed. Amen. All right, let's see if we can get this up. Amen. Give this a listen, and we'll be right back. Yes, Evangelist Danny, this is Mike Ritchie from Pennsylvania. Uh, I was just calling. I'll, uh, I'll do $100 a month, so into the ministry. But just um, don't mention my name, because I don't believe in doing that stuff. Hold on, hold on. All right, praise God. He's, uh, we, that was a private call there. Uh I got to explain that. Amen. We've got a rock, and he doesn't want his name mentioned. Uh, what already went out of the airways, I cannot help. Uh, he may be a new listener. I will be calling him and uh, getting in contact with him. Uh, we don't do things privately here. <laughs> Evidently, you don't. I really I don't. Well, I tell everyone. I, I really that try to. The, well, I really try to tell heavy. them. I really try to tell him, uh, you know, and I'll have to explain to him, you know, I won't mention his name, but, yeah. you know, it's, and I know they try to do it where the right hand don't know what the left hand is exactly. doing, and, 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 and you know, and, 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 you know, they don't want nobody to know, but I will explain to him why we do tell people, uh, because uh, well, one reason is I enjoy making the devil mad. <laughs> no, uh, no. <laughs> well, I do. You're I enjoy. That, I enjoy making the devil mad. Yeah. I tell him every day. Go ahead, devil. Bring it on strong. Well, We've already won. Day. But I do day. not. I do not monitor these phone calls. We take it like it comes. Uh, I, so uh, that's the way it lays here at the Gospel Music Jukebox. Now he may back out of being a rock. I don't know. I hope not. I pray not. Just pray not. But I can't do nothing secretly because that opens a door for uh, um, rumors and attacks and 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 I and I you know and I just I'm writing a book and I and I am naming names and I'm telling the truth and I'm telling it plain. Yeah. I've been working on a book of my life and how the churches have treated me and how people treat me in general and when I die this book will be published. Uh, it's to be published at my death and uh, it is. And I've had people try to sue me. I've had people tell me they're going to kill me. I'm talking about listen, I've been I've been an undercover police officer. I've been in undercover stings. I've been involved in trying to get people out of crack houses. I'm in you know, I did all that. And I want people to know the truth. And and that's why I, I don't have secrets. It's why I don't want a secret in my life. God knows all things. He will bring it to the light. I understand they want to give and don't want people to know who they're giving to. But listen what that does. It does this. They say, well, you know, you're giving, but you're ashamed of who you're giving to. Yeah. You're ashamed of that gospel. You don't. You're just giving to be a giver. You're not giving because if you're not ashamed, you would tell. You know, I proudly give to the gospel music jukebox, and I proudly say, "Be a doer of the word of God." And I know now he can do that. I know the right hand knoweth not what the left hand doing, and and what that's talking about. That's talking about when you're giving, uh, you, and you reach into that pocket full of money you don't count it out you just give being in obedience to the lord but um but i will talk to him and explain that that and leave it in his hands if he wants to be a sower here uh be one of them rocks uh you know then then we're gonna we're gonna tell that he's a rock and that he's a faithful rock and 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 we're honored to have him as part of our ministry and part of. But now I hope he continues to listen to the programs. I hope that he continue whether he remains and wants to be a rock or not. That's in the hands of God. God apparently told him to be a rock. He wants to be a rock. I hope the devil don't throw a stumbling block up. But I've got to obey God. I'm not going to backpedal just to get that hundred dollars. I'm not going to tickle his ears just to get it. No. We don't go secret here. We share everything openly. We're an open book. My life's been an open book. 
God told me to do it this way. I, 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 I'm an open book. And those that give, I proudly say they give. Those that don't give that say they was going to give, I proudly say they lied. <laughs> I do that too. And I name names. And I call these pastors out. And I say, look, you said you're coming by. You ain't come by yet. You know, I go talk to them, you know, because I'm not going to tickle your ears just to get your money because God, God's got the money. God can put it on the heart of a millionaire tonight and he could be one of the rocks. And, and, and you're precious, old brother. Don't misinterpret me, please. If you're listening to the program and, and you still want to be a rock, I'm going to call you, talk to you before I explain. You know, I won't play it on the air now, but do know this. Any call that comes over the gospel music jukebox, I share it with the world. I want the devil to know that people will obey God. I want the devil, the enemy, to hear it loud. We got rocks. There's people that's going to obey God. They're not ashamed to say, hey, I want to get behind what you're doing. I want to be a part. Devil, take that in the name of Jesus. Woo, I'm about to get plumb beside Amen. myself. My God, I'm about, boy, my God. Woo, thank you, brother, for thank calling. You, brother. Because no matter what, no matter if I pray you don't back up. I pray you go forth and obey God with that with that sowing, with that seed of $100 a month. I pray you be faithful with that uh, no matter what happens. But if you don't, we're still going to go on. You're still my friend. I Amen. still I still thank God for you. I still, I love those. Uh, he shares a lot of a deep word on Facebook. He really yeah. does. And, uh, you know, we, we share some of those. Uh, we read those, and we enjoy those. I enjoy anything Get me in the Word of God. Oh, yeah. Amen. 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 I really do. Um, <laughs> uh, okay. Um, okay, yeah, right, sis. He don't want to be boastful. Yeah, I understand right. that. Yeah. yeah, I understand he don't. Uh, he's not supposed to be boastful on himself. Right. But I can boast about what I see God doing in him. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And I want to uplift Jesus for that brother tonight because he sold, he has sold not only into us, he sold many places God has told me. He, 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 he is in love with Jesus Christ. Amen. There's no doubt about it. But I, I will talk to him before I share the rest of that because he might not be familiar Amen. with our programming and might not have heard me say this. I try to say it a lot, you know, he through the not, programs. He may not know you stand on John eight thirty two, and the truth shall set you free. Amen. Well, he, I believe, I believe he knows and, and everything. Yeah. I think it's leaning like sis is saying. He don't want to seem boastful, and he exactly. he just wants to help because God told him to help. Mm -hmm. But we want we want to smack the devil right upside the top of the head with it. That's what we want to yeah. do. <laughs> I love that. Listen, the devil has beat me up long enough. I got a rock tonight, and I want to use that rock and hit the devil upside the head. <laughs> I pray Amen. God. I can't help it. Here's I'm plumb beside myself. I'm happy. We prayed. We asked God. I said, tonight, God, would you give us one rock? Would they call in? They did. We got one tonight. One I pray Amen. we're going to keep it. I pray that he don't get offended by what I said, but I've still got to remain the same, for God changes not. He's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore more Amen. for me and the gospel music jukebox we hold no secret conversations i share everything openly i i'm, I'm sorry if, if that causes any kind of a block but i cannot back up i have to stay faithful with what i feel and convicted under and is the truth and i'm going to continue to do that and i and i'm looking forward to when i call this brother and talk with him that we have a long relationship yeah. and i'm looking forward because here's my surprise these five rocks i'm coming to your house i I want to meet you in person. I want to hug you, and I want to ask you to do this for me. You see, these five rocks, I want them to pray and anoint me with oil yeah. mm, because amen. they obey God. Yeah. They obey yeah. God, and I want them to lay hands on me, yeah. and, and, and I'm going to go to their home. I don't care where they live. If i got to get in an airplane, I, I guess I'll get in an airplane. Yeah. I'm going to them now, I'm telling you, and I'm asking them to pray and anoint me for this for this ministry, the gospel music jukebox. Amen. Uh, so that's that's another one of the steps that has to be took place uh, for the rocks. It's like an ordaining service for me. I don't know. I love it. Anyway, devil, take that. Uh, we got the rock. We got a rock tonight. Hundred dollars a month. Faithful. Whether you Amen. get to hear his name, I'm, I'm sure the devil knows who it is. Oh, the devil knows. Who I it bet is, this young man. This too. young. Amen. This young man has made the devil mad for many years. I guarantee it. Mm -hmm. Because he is obedient to the to the Lord, and he obeyed God, and he's going to continue to make the, devil, continue mad. To make the devil mad. I bet I bet he's like me. I bet he ain't got a lot of friends. 
but that's okay. But he's got the Lord. We got a lot of family over. Ah, praise he's God. Got a lot of brothers and Woo! sisters out there. Glory. I bet uh, the devil go out there and let air out of one of his tires. He's yeah. Mad. Yeah. Hey, Mention that. We just. No. We just. We, yeah. yeah no devil go flat good for him. Hey, we had a flat this morning. Pastor Uh-oh. Eddie Garrett. Uh-oh. Was it this morning or yesterday morning? Church, since since we've been on the road so much, I, I can't keep up with that. We all run together after a while. Whew, man. But anyway, we got back from uh, Asheville, North Carolina. And uh, Eddie and Vicky slept here because it was late. Me and him yeah. didn't get back till like daylight, yeah. you know, or something. <laughs> so he laid down. When he got up, he had a flat tar. Yeah, well, yeah. You know, we had to go out and try to fix a flat. And boy, we was wore out, Amen. you know. So thank God uh, uh, for prayers and prayer warriors. Amen. Yeah. Amen. But uh, please, uh, my rock, my first rock, that's special. The first rock. Mm-hmm. That's just special to me. I'm oh, about yeah. to float yeah. off to heaven tonight, church. Yeah. My first rock because, you know, I, I don't know, brother. You just, you're my first rock. Man, I love you. And no matter what happens, uh, you know, uh, we, you're my rock. You're my first rock. See, they can never be uh, another first. That's true. They, there'll never be another first. Mm-hmm. He was the first rock to say, hey, I want to give the $100 a month, faithfully. So, uh, man, I'm excited. I'm making a note. That name, I will pray for you better believe continuously. Oh, yeah. But I will talk to him and ask him, can I share that phone call? And I'll respect his wishes. But you all know this. Please, please, if you're listening tonight and God's told you to be a rock, he's told you to be a rock. Please know that 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 I don't I don't talk privately uh, what is called in uh, to talk I don't even talk privately on a cell phone. No, I really don't. I don't talk privately. Everything you tell me, I'm liable to tell it. Hey, and he does. I am. I'm liable to just tell it because if you start talking about you know how people are calling you, you believe what brother so and so done. I'll say look. Now, if you ain't got nothing good, to, yeah. If you ain't got nothing good to say, I, I rebuke you. It. Now, be quiet. Just, and then I'll tell. Yeah. I'll say, brother, so and so's a gossiper. Yeah. He yeah. needs to repent of it. You need Amen. to quit doing it. Right. The Bible says to call sin out. That's you know, right. I ain't gonna cover it up. And I ain't gonna hide it. You know, so I really don't have private conversations. Yeah. I really don't because my heavenly Father's hearing it. That's the right. devil's hearing it. Yeah. I'm hearing it. You're hearing it. Yeah. So it really ain't too private. And God says he'll bring it to the light and make it known. Well, when we uh, took up, we own judgment. Everything's coming out anyway. Everything coming out, ain't it? So there you go. Woo! Praise God. I'm glad I cast mine on Jesus. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. I'm excited tonight, and we want to thank God for that. Uh, but please know tonight, as I hit these testimony lines, we don't have no way to monitor them, and I wouldn't no way. We play them as they come, and... Uh, you know, that's uh, the best I can do. Amen. <laughs> so, he still wants to be a rock. Okay. All right. Praise God. Uh, I'm, I'm, uh, we, can't, we do get a little text with these things, but it don't spell all the words right. <laughs> He's, uh, so we're trying to decipher it before we play it. Uh, but um, uh, 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 I got your cell with me. Uh, okay. Uh, I hope you got my new cell phone number. Because my old cell died, and the new number, I don't know by heart, but it's here on the chat. its uh, it, I posted it in Facebook. Anybody got my new fel- cell phone number? My wife could type the number in if she's still listening to make sure. Now, the old cell phone died, uh, and my granddaughter got it. You, she can text with it or something, but you can't call with it. It, it messed up. But uh, uh, if my wife would uh, uh, type in my new cell phone number. Would be uh, I don't I don't know it and it, it don't work here in the trailer. It's got a dead battery right now, but you can call it and I have to go outside in my yard and talk on it. So if you call it, leave me a message and I'll call you back. But um, but uh, I had it wrote down on something. Somebody's got it, but uh, I ain't got it with me here in this temporary bedroom makeshift. Studio, boy, my God, what a night. Devil, take that. The devil got punched in the eye. We got our first rock tonight. We got our first rock. Devil, take that in Jesus' name. We got our first rock. Now we're going to step out and look for that second rock. Now we're going to look for that second rock right here tonight. Amen. Praise God. All right, give this a listen and uh, be blessed, and I'll be right back. Yes, this is Jackie McLean. 
I'm from Dayton, Ohio, and I want to be part of this building. I, I'd like to tie to the building. I don't tie, but to the people here in the building by taking food. But I want to be part of this because God's laid it on my heart. But all that I can tie a, a month would be $75 right now. Uh, anything to help the board and help the people bring the people in. Eddie and them were there for me, and the least I can do with the little bit of money that I have, I freely give it. And if there was more, it, it will come. I thank you all, and God bless. And God bless this new building that you're getting ready to have. Amen. Praise God. God bless our second rock. Number two, honey, God's going to give you that other $25. I promise you it'll be $100 a month. That's what God said. He's going to give you that and above and beyond. There's the second rock. And what a bless, What a blessing for Sister Jackie. She don't know how much she's blessed me in her life. My God, her testimony that she shares and tells how, how, how God touched her in that little old ministry that we had in Thornton, Kentucky. You got to understand, another move like this move took place when I was there in Thornton, Kentucky. And I got to share that just a moment with you. I walked into an empty building. Nobody there by myself, just like I've done the gospel music you box when God told me to do it. Yeah. He told me to go in this building and, and open revival. There was nobody there. Yeah. It was closed. <laughs> He said, go to that building, open up a revival. So I went to the man. Well, as a matter of fact, I was outside praying, and the man that owned the building came outside and said, what are, what, you know, what are you doing? Can I help you? And I said, well, the Lord told me to bring revival to this building. And he said, man, he said, this used to be a church. And he said, his mom and dad passed away, and he would be honored that I would use it to do revival. And I said, now, I ain't got no money if you're trying to rent it. And he said, no, no, you come and obey God. And he gave me the key. Amen. So the first night I went, there was nobody there. I opened the doors, and I preached and sung. I had church. Amen. I mean, I obeyed God. I preached just as hard that night as I do right now. Amen. Even harder. I was younger. <laughs> and, and I preached. But the next night, I went, and I opened up and preached. There was two came. Amen. And that was this little young man, Joe Wallace, that came here, yeah. Yeah. and his wife, Shelly. Amen. Two people came, and they sat out there, and I preached just as hard that <laughs> night as I did the first night. The next night, about seven or eight came. Amen. The next night, it was 20 or 30. The next night, by the time 30 days, revival went, this little church, it turned into a church. Oh, yeah. I'm not called to pastor, but I held the position of a pastor until God placed one there. We were honored and blessed to birth the church there. Amen. And and over 350 members oh, at the end of a 30-day revival. They That's took awesome. membership. That's God. It was their church. Yeah. We stayed there for probably another year or something, me and the wife and the family. And God raised a pastor up out of that church, Amen. and we left it in his hands, and we left. Amen. And uh, got to go preach revival again. Amen. And Sister Jackie was a part of that. Oh, yeah. Amen. She was a part of that. And that's why it's so precious to me tonight. We got rock number two. Woo! Devil, take that in the name of Jesus. We've got rock number two. Satan, you're a defeated foe. You hear me? My God, the gospel music jukebox is going forth in the name of Jesus, and it is precious to have these rocks jumping aboard and saying, hey, I'm a rock, man. I'm a rock. I'm sold out, and I want to help you spread the gospel, the good news of Jesus Christ. All right. And by faith, we're going to step out. We've got about 30 minutes left. Can we get rock number three tonight? Can we get that third rock tonight? My God, I'm stepping out in faith and claiming that third rock. So give this a listen and be blessed, and we'll be right back. Hello, this is Brother Boyd, London in Idaho. We love you all. We're paying for it now. Internet's out at the house, but I'm glad I can use this line here and call in. I had seen on Brother Eddie's Facebook page there are pictures that uh, he's helping out some homeless people, and there was one lady specifically that I guess has diabetes, severe diabetes, and she's been on my heart a lot, and I've been praying for her, and I wanted to say a prayer up now for all of us and for anyone in any situation like that needs healing. And, oh, Jesus gives us all hope. He is a healer. He will heal us of sin, of sicknesses and diseases. And uh, Jesus loves you uh, so much. I want to go to God in prayer right now. Father, I love you with all my heart, mind, and soul. I want to come to you in prayer in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Thank you for Jesus dying on the cross for our sins and for our sicknesses and diseases. 
says in Philippians 4, 6, we don't have to be anxious about any situation, no matter what situation we're in, whether we're homeless or wherever we're at in our lives, no matter what challenges and trials and hardships you face, we can go to you in prayer and you will deliver us and help us. You love us so much and Jesus loves us so much. It says in here, Psalm 102, Hear my prayer, O Lord, let my cry come to you. Do not hide your face from me in the day of my trouble. Quiet your ear to me in that day and answer me speedily. It says in Psalm 103, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgives all your iniquities, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from destruction, who crowns you with love, kindness, and tenderness, mercies, who satisfies your mouth with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. Father, I just want to pray for anyone right now that's facing trials and hardships in their lives. I want to pray for anyone that's homeless for you just to, for them to fill your love in their lives and the love of Jesus. I want to pray and ask for your healing power just to flow throughout the top of their heads to the bottom of their feet and heal them of any ailments and sicknesses that they face, whether it be diabetes or any ailments. It does say that we can have faith and believe. Matthew 8, 17 says that Jesus took on from these and our sicknesses. May they believe and know that they are healed. May they cry out to you all and accept and receive their healing in the name of Jesus. May you comfort and help any of these people, Father, and help them deliver them from the situations that they're in and even work in their lives and bring them hope so they can get out of the, their situation of being homeless and just help them feel how much you love them and how much Jesus loves them. And no matter where they are at in life or what situation they're in, you love them so much and they have hope of having Jesus as their personal Lord and Savior and they will have their sins forgiven and can go to heaven when they die and be with you and reign there forever in heaven with you. Thank you for helping all of us out, Father, and for healing us and giving us all hope and helping us to fill your love and the love of Jesus. I pray this prayer in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless all, and we love you. Amen. Sister Jackie, got good news. Uh, Brother Bobby and Sister Terry, right here from Cookville, Tennessee, they want to partner with you. And they said they'll take care of that 25 that needed to be on that 75. They want to fill in for you. They want to do that with you. So see, I told you, God done took care of it. That made it the second rock to 100. They said they're going to take care of that $25 a month. That makes $200 a month solid rock so far tonight. We're talking about a lifetime commitment. Man, I appreciate you guys. I love you. Uh, it won't be too long now. Uh, as soon as I get this building built, I'm going to show up at your house. I'll be calling you, getting directions, and I'm going to ask you to anoint me with oil and pray the prayer of faith over me. Uh, it's an ordaining service that uh, as long as I'm alive that I uh, do what's right with the Gospel Music Jukebox Radio Program. Amen. You guys, I told you, God told me five rocks, five rocks. You are five rocks, I'm telling you. Now, uh, you may get three or four people to go in with you, and, and, and you may get you two or three rocks and be a rock. I don't know how, how God's doing it. That's not up to me. But just like it was on their heart to step up and help Sister Jackie, they said, look, she, she's given, and, and we want to help her complete that. And I said, hey, if God's telling you to do that, do that. And they said, yes, God's telling us to give the 25 with Jackie, that 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 made that hundred. That's two solid rocks right there. That's the two hundred right there. Solid, finished, settled. Devil, take that in the name of Jesus. This building is getting built quicker than I could even even than I thought it would have. It really is. I'm I'm excited. Every evening I get off work, I'm going to be driving nails. If you live in the Crossville, Tennessee area, and you want to help build the building, you can stop by at two nineteen. Red Fox Drive, Crossville, Tennessee. Uh, anytime after 6 o'clock in the evening, because I work, uh, you know, from 7 o'clock to 4.30, and usually I work a little late every evening because I do do try to, uh, you know, give a little because I'm, you know, I don't work as hard and fast as I used to. So, you know, for an eight-hour day, I try to stay at least eight and a half to nine hours if I can because uh, I have to sit down a little more. <laughs> I ain't as young as I once was, but I'm as good one time as I once was. Amen, I guess. I don't know how that's really said, but anyway... I'm just excited. Supersonic. I'm blessed. We've got two rocks tonight. We're shooting for the third. We're about out of time for tonight's program. But every night, until we get those five rocks, we'll be announcing the, this uh, move of God along the way. Amen. Amen. Uh, right. Uh, I, she said, I just tore that $75 check up and wrote $100. <laughs> 
Oh my God. Sis, I love you. I love you. Um, uh, amen. Um, you obey God. You obey God, sis. You obey God. But, but know, uh, that if you do that and you send the hundred, that their twenty-five uh, a go for CDs and uh, mailing uh, prayer claws out. But the five rocks that goes for the building. That that money goes for the building project and goes for running of the building. That's paying the light bill every month. That's paying the internet service every month. That's buying what equipment is needed as stuff tires up every month. That those five rocks are the running of the ministry amen uh now that will be 125 with 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 theirs amen praise god she can count amen we love you sis and you're so precious we thank god for each and every one of you know that we really do and and you're just awesome tonight obey god we're looking for that third rock and we've got about 30 minutes left so pray church we need you to pray we're looking for the third rock uh amen wouldn't it be something if god give all five rocks tonight wow my god i don't know if i could take it i'm liable to just go on and be with the lord i really am because i felt so alone at this i know god's with me but whew, uh, I didn't know, uh, but look what God's doing. Look what God's doing. Thank you, God, man. You're precious. You're precious. I love you. And can't wait to get to meet you. I can't wait to get to be at your home after I get the, the room up. I'll be coming. I'll make a round trip. If it takes me a week or two weeks, I'll get a DJ to fill in for me. The gospel music jukebox will continue to go out even when I'm on the road. But but I'll, I'll, I'm coming. You have to pray and anoint me with oil and pray over me. That that That's part of the vision that has to be done from those five rocks. But anyhow, whew, I'm just excited. If I ramble tonight, just know it's because I'm, I'm high in Jesus right now i'm high in jesus right now i'm i'm just blown away by what god's doing amen right here at this uh little gospel music jukebox program i was blown away when sister terry started sharing how her 75 year old mother was listening every night and and a faithful church of christ uh goer faithfully and that's where she went to the altar and rededicated her life to the lord because of the ministry you're seeing the testimonies that you share everything she's heard here on the gospel music jukebox convicted her and said hey you know what i'm not where i need to be with god and she got things right with god she rededicated her life back to god because of what you done which is simply obey the lord imagine she's heard little gracie she's heard my granddaughter destiny and 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 cheyenne and she's heard my grandsons as they called in and and sing and asked for prayer requests and they've she's heard you if you've called and left your testament that all influenced her and tugged on her heart and she did decided to get things settled and get things right that you're important you are important you are a part of this we need those testimonies we need your calls every day as we put them on cds and we give these cds away in nursing homes and and under the bridges and homeless shelters and in tent revivals my god church know that you're an overcomer with the word of your testimony and the blood of the lamb my God, I see some overcomers in here tonight, Sister Terry. Amen. They are, uh, Sister Jackie, you missed it. I know she done oh, tore that up. And yeah. Made it for 100. Yeah. yeah amen. She said, she said that makes 125. She said, she done t- tore that up. She said, nope, I'm giving the 100. She sold out to God. You're amen. sold out to God. Uh, my God, uh, uh, I mean, I'm thanking God for all these rocks he's putting around us. And, and, and the building uh, starts tomorrow evening. So if you're in the area, uh, we need uh, we got we got enough uh, tuba. Actually, I got tuba eights for the foundation. They're big tuba eights because I figure they're going to be a lot of jumping going on in there. Amen. Oh, glory. <laughs> Holy Ghost shuffle right here. Amen. Uh, and uh, I figure they're going to be a lot of guests coming out of state sometime. We're going to have a thing called the gathering mm. once a year. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna try to try to get uh, people to come in for that once a year. Uh, uh, also, I want you to pray about this. Uh, those of you that can travel, and those of you that want to travel, when the building's built, we're gonna have an ordaining service and anoint the building, Amen. and all that can that day 
Uh, we'll be announcing it a week before. We'll, we'll give a five-day announcement before the anointing service. We, we were going to anoint the building, have it prayed over, anoint the equipment, everything inside, opening night of that building. Amen. It'll be an ordaining opening night service for the, for the gospel music. we have to bring music a covered Dubai. dish and have a fellowship. Yeah, we got to eat. You know, uh-huh. we eat spiritually, we got to eat naturally. Amen. I mean, come on. That's that's what we do, ain't it? Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Uh, Sister Jackie said, uh, 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 oh, she's waiting uh, for you and Sister Pauline when we get there. Can't wait to see you. She says, dinner or lunch will be served. Amen. 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 God's good, church. God's good. All right. Let me run over here and check these testimonies. Praise God as we're truly supersonically uh, being blessed. Uh, Praise God. (laughs) God is good. All right, let's see if we can get this next one up here and out. Give this a listen, and then we got a special treat for you. Amen. So uh, let me see what we got. Okay, right here it is. Whoop, I passed it. Here it is. Give this a listen and be blessed in Jesus' name. This is Brother Boyd Bunyan in Idaho. We love you all. We're praying for you. I was going to make some calls in here, and uh, our Internet's out at our house right now, but I'm glad I can make these calls, and uh, Jesus loves you. I had seen on one one of Brother Eddie's pictures there where there was uh, some people that were homeless, and there was one lady, I believe, that was uh, struggling with severe diabetes. I'm going to call back in and say a prayer for her to be healed. But uh, I just want anybody to know like this that they have hope and that Jesus loves you so much. It's promised in the book of Matthew that if you turn your heart and life over to Jesus, he will heal you and help you. It says in Philippians 4, 6, we don't have to be anxious about anything. But no matter what circumstances or situations, and we can go to God in prayer, and Jesus will help us. God will help us. I would encourage anyone like this in this situation, if anyone can give them a Bible, if they don't have a Bible to read, that uh, you go to the book of Psalms and just read some of the great Psalms. Some of the Psalmists like David, uh, King David, they were trying to kill him, and then he wrote Psalms out to God, crying for help and praising God, and there's just some really great Psalms with people that are, facing just horrible situations, and it's just great to see how God helps them. This is Psalm 102. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and let my cry come to you. Do not hide your face from me in the day of my trouble. Incline your ear to me in the day, in the day that I call. Answer me speedily. And it's just saying that in, no matter what trouble we're facing, whether we're homeless or whatever situations we're in, we can cry out to God, and he will deliver us and help us with whatever challenges and situations we face in our lives. And... uh Look at Psalm 103, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name, bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget all his benefits, who forgives all your iniquities, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from destruction, who crowns you of love, kindness, and tender mercies, who satisfies your mouth of good things, so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. It's just the promise of God that if we'll turn our hearts and lives over to Jesus and accept Jesus as our personal Lord and Savior, and let Jesus come into our heart and lives to guide us for life, God will deliver us, God will help us and deliver us from these challenges and trials, and he will deliver you from the situation there and help you while you're being homeless, no matter what situations that you face that you're in. We have a great and good God, and God loves you, and Jesus, that's what I wanted to say, Jesus loves you, and, and Jesus will help you no matter what situation you're in. God bless you all. We love you, and I'm going to be calling back in to say a prayer. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Brother Boyd. My God, he is faithful. He is He is definitely uh, one of the faithful uh, callers that utilizes the testimony line. Amen. That is so precious to me. He, he'll never know because he, him and uh, Sister Rachel was actually the first ones to use the testimony line. Amen. And, and, and see, you can never be a first. You're a first, you know, and that... I mean, it's so precious to me that those first ones, the first rock tonight, rock number two tonight. My God, uh, I don't know if I can take any more. I'm just, I'm just so ecstatic right now. Uh, we're gonna see if we can get Sister Terry and Brother Bobby to come up and just obey the Lord through song or word, Wh- whatever God has placed upon their heart. We thank them for coming all the way from Cookville, Tennessee tonight, up here on the mountain to Crossville to be with us live. And, uh, you know, they, even though they brought the, the air conditioner, they did not know nothing about this special program. They had no idea. They, they had no idea. And uh, then I, when they got here, I said, okay, we're going on live, y'all. 
Yeah. And uh, they was like, huh? And uh, I just come on, well, obey this, the Lord. This is the first for us. Amen. Yeah, Amen. this is the first for you. Amen. First See, for us, Amen. This is the first Amen. time you've been. And, and to beat it all, you had to come to this makeshift studio in my bedroom, you know. That's that, oh, my that. God. Uh, I mean, you know, I mean, but it, it is what it is. But thank God we now have access. We're ready. We'll start it on the building tomorrow evening. I will be taking pictures throughout this project. Yeah. But Amen. I'll show you the first picture, the beginning. We'll show pictures all the way through it. I'll make a photo album of the 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 project uh, the building. Amen. And uh, you'll be staying up to date with all the laborers and volunteers, and you'll see the progress. Uh, amen. So that way, if a devil tries to tell you, well, they ain't doing that, that sorry bunch, you know, because yep. I get accused of that a lot. Well, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure. Come on. Obey the Lord. Now, be loud because uh, to me, right now, we smacking the devil upside the head in the name of Jesus. Woo. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Jesus loves you. Happy birthday to you. Praise the Lord. Well, thank you. Thank Happy you. Happy birthday, brother. Thank you. That was a first. Hope you have many, many more. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. God we're, bless. We're going to try this. Saved by grace. Hallelujah. I've, I've been saved by grace. grace. My name is in the book of life, and my sins are washed away. Saved by grace. Hallelujah. I've been saved by grace. It's not what I deserve, but I'm saved by grace. When I reach that city, the gates will open wide, and the angels will be waiting in that heavenly sky. Saved by grace, hallelujah, I've been saved by grace. My name is in the book of life, and my sins are washed away. Saved by grace, hallelujah, I've been saved by grace. It's not what I deserve, but I'm saved by grace. When I see my Savior, I know I must be home, for he said he would be close to me. Right there by my side, saved by grace. Hallelujah. I've been saved by grace. My name is in the book of life, and my sins are washed away. Saved by grace. I've been saved by grace. It's not what I deserve, but I'm saved by grace. No, it's not what I deserve, but I'm saved by grace. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Ooh, praise God. Amen. All right. Going to do us another one or? I can't see everybody behind Give me. me. A minute. All right, all right. While they're getting ready, Amen. I want to make it one more time. We're looking for three rocks now. We've done and got two. We're looking for three rocks. Looking for the third one tonight. We've got about nineteen minutes left. We want you to pray, and if if God put it upon your heart, we want you to be a hundred dollar faithful rock. That you, every month you sow that $100 seed to the Gospel Music Jute Box radio program. Right now it goes for building the building, uh, paying the satellite dish bill. We're going satellite dish uh, internet 
with satellite. We're getting off of the cable and the phone line because it's unreliable. Uh, it's not as good a sound quality as we want. Uh, we are getting new equipment. We have a big board that we'll be using in the new building. Uh, was actually donated. It, it's a 21 channel. Uh, so we're going to have that where bands can come and, and, and everything and have room for all the instruments. Uh, we've got some filters that's going to go through and things like that. We've got a lot of equipment we've been waiting to get this underway with. Uh, so, uh, amen. Uh, good to see Consumed by Fire Ministries. Amen. They're in the room tonight. <coughs> Praise God. Yes, Greg. Brother Greg Dotson. God. Amen. Uh, praise love God. Amen. Yeah, I'm telling Brother you. Greg. I'm telling you now. He will get. You, I'll tell you now. He'll get you started. Yeah, he gets on fire. Amen. You know? Amen. Yeah, he gets Amen. On fire. I love it when he comes up. Yeah. Hey, brother. We got we got the building underway. We're starting tomorrow. We're gonna have room, brother. And we and guess what? We got a, an air conditioner donated. We don't got to sit in the sweat yeah. in the sweat box yeah. no more. I, you know, I appreciate. Brother Greg, he came up here and sat oh, in there yeah. with me. Yeah, he really that. did. He, yeah. he and I mean, man, me and him sweat. We're, yeah. we're, you know, we're sweaters. <laughs> Praise God. Uh, we love you, brother. Hey, check out his program also right here on speaker. Uh, he's doing. Uh, I believe it's Old Time Campground. Uh, amen. Uh, I went over and checked out his test program, and and he's he's doing good. He got a good sound going on, and uh, I think uh, here in a little while. I'm not sure he can inform you on that. You want to chat with him there and check with him. But he'll be, uh, you know, doing live uh, ministering, uh, old-time gospels and oh, yeah. songs and yeah. full bands. He's got a lot going on at that end, yeah. and we want to help him uh, oh, when yeah. we can be a yeah. part of that. We're going to share some of his programming right here in our program in the pulpit. Oh, yeah. uh, we'll be sharing some of the Consume and by Fire Ministry programs. So you want to keep checking out those archives. I'm telling you, um, we have made it as another decision tonight. When we get this room completed, this building built, the 20, the 14 by 21, uh, when we get it built, a couple of weeks, I'm praying, we got to work hard. <laughs> we're going to go ahead and go live 24-7. Yeah, we're, we're going live then 24-7. Now, what that means is, now, what that means is, it don't mean that I'll be live all the time at the, at the, at the controls. It means different hours of the day now the gospel music jukebox will remain at eight o'clock it will be live at eight o'clock till 11 it'll be live uh but what that does mean is that if uh, uh somebody wants to come by at three o'clock in the day and hold a service in here they'll be live on the radio uh till then we'll be played now he'll say live up there and we're going to be broadcasting music and and uh, a pulpit will be going uh there'll be some recordings but it'll be going out live uh, it'll it'll be a continuous feed of live programming, uh, so there will be no archive to listen to. Uh, you know, it'll, well, we may save a few, but not not a lot. It'll just be live, live, unless some some kind of the equipment crashes or something. Yeah. You know, but other than that, we we prayed it through. We're going to go with the twenty four seven live radio when we dedicate the building after it's built. So uh, uh, God has already supplied two rocks. That's a hundred dollars a month from those two rocks. That's two hundred plus my money. We already know we have five hundred a month right now, and we know that uh, going full time internet uh, satellite dish for the internet. Uh, you know, we we know that that you know cost is but it don't matter that's what god said yeah. get something reliable yeah. something that he told us to get not this cable and this phone line it doesn't work it doesn't hold up the quality and they don't do the maintenance on it they won't come work on it oh, yeah. so uh anyhow all these new changes coming you want to stay uh, tuned in as much as you can when we're on the air live and and stay up to date but we're looking for the three rocks now we've got two looking for three rocks simply asking you to pray and obey god if god tells you and you're one of the rocks we're asking a hundred dollars a month a lifetime commitment to god as long as the gospel music jukebox continues to air the truth the gospel of jesus christ we want you to be a faithful sower that is for the running of the ministry that is for to pay the internet bill the uh the uh um, phone bill the electric bill uh, and to keep the equipment up, uh, 
that's what it goes for. So we don't have to ask. Now, the little donations that come in, those will take care of the CDs and the mailing list and mailing yeah. out the prayer yeah. clause and yeah. <coughs> excuse me and things like that. We do have four little. Now we've got five. We got five uh, faithful sowers. Uh, now you, you, uh, you and uh, Terry said twenty five a month. Yeah. So you're that's I call that my little seed. Yeah. You guys are like me. I'm the so, little internet man. We need three more little seeds. Yeah, we need three more. Three more. That's right. Three yeah. more. Hey, three more. she's saying hey. That's right. So Somebody three. Can, I need three partners. Come on, call that, in. You can work all week calling your friends, family. Getting mm-hmm. you need three rocks. And then you say, be 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 with three me. Three seeds makes a rock. That's right. Three seeds make a rock. Four make a rock. You're oh, yeah. you're you got your little twenty five up. If you get three more to partner with you, you become one rock. Amen. We say five to make a rock. Amen. Praise God, because yeah. we're going by what little David picked up there when he picked yeah. up those five stones. You know, you get into that and read that, you'll find out that that big giant had some brothers. <laughs> Amen. We're excited about what's going on right here at the Gospel Music Jukebox. Good to see Sister Vicky jumped in the chat. She says, God bless all. Uh, and uh, uh, you guys, uh, we love you. But we're just so excited tonight. We're tongue twisting. Amen. I really am. We love you. We're down to about 12 minutes. Let me run over here and check the testimony line. See if we got a new one uh, that's come in. Okay, let me let me give this one. All right, give this a listen and be blessed. We'll be right back. Hi, Eddie. This is Rachel from Kentucky and Gracie. And we're going to sing Happy Birthday to you. Happy Birthday to you. Happy Birthday, dear Eddie. Happy Birthday to you. And many more, and we love you on Channel 4, and we love you, and um, I want to say I want to be your third rock to help with this. Love you. Love you, Bob. Amen. I think I heard right. Thank you for singing happy birthday, but did I hear right? You say you want to be my third rock. Did I hear that right? I got to play that again. You guys, I got to play this again. Give me a listen. Tell me if you're in the chat room, sis, confirm that. Are you the third rock? I believe Sister Rachel. Hi, Eddie. This is Rachel from Kentucky and Gracie. And we're going to sing Happy Birthday to you. Happy Birthday to you. Happy Birthday, dear Eddie. Happy birthday to you and many more. And we love you on Channel 4. And we love you. And um, I want to say I want to be your third rock to help with this. Love you. Amen. Thank you, little Gracie. My God, take that, devil. We've got three rocks. Three rocks. Three rocks. Devil, you are a defeated foe. Amen. Get under Amen. our feet in the name of yeah. Jesus. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Listen, we're down to about 10 minutes. And I want you to know I got a special prayer that I want to pray right here in about five minutes. So hang on. Hang on. I want As we close, I'm going to close with a special prayer. And uh, but, but right now, I want to see if Sister Terry's got anything on her heart. I just want to say thank you. I've had a blessed night. It's a blessing that God put you in my life and my husband's. And I just want to say it's wonderful to be here and be a part of this and reaching out to spread God's word. And to actually sit here and see it in action, it's wonderful. And to now, even though I'm a seed and not a full rock... Mm -hmm. I, I just want to say it's great to be a part of it. Amen. For it's going to continue to spread the word. Yes. To do good deeds. Yes. And be about the Father's business. Amen. Amen. Hey, we need them seeds too. Yeah. And have yeah. a seed sprout and grow into the rock, the, yeah. the crop. Yeah. Don't, yeah. don't, uh, I like what you said. You said, all I need is three more little seeds to go with us and you'll make a rock. That's right. And so that's right. Everybody listening. If you want to be a partner at 25 a month, because sometimes times are hard and you can't always come up with 100, but 
three twenty fives with my twenty five makes a hundred, and that makes us a rock. Amen. So come on, tomorrow, tonight, anytime, call in nine three one two two nine zero seven six eight six eight. Put your seed in there and Amen. let's be a rock and Amen. we'll grow. Amen. Say, I want to be a partner with uh, Sister Terry. Uh, and, and and amen. She's looking for three. And uh, I'm telling you, God's awesome. Oh, now, I'm right. telling All you, the time. God's awesome. It, 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 it's awesome what God's doing. And uh, I'm excited. I can't wait. I might go out tonight and saw the first board. Uh, well, we might do that before we leave. Amen. I'm excited. Tomorrow evening, if you're in the Crossville, uh, Tennessee area, and you want to come and be a part of this, we're going to be starting construction on the new room. Uh, we're building a twenty, uh, a 14 by 21. And uh, who knows, God may build it bigger than that someday. But Amen. to start off with, we're building that. And God told me to ask for five rocks. He never told me about the seeds, but he did you. And that's pretty awesome because he that's why you're here. It ain't by accident you showed up. No, it's by <laughs> heavenly divine appointment. My God. Hey, good to see Brother Jordan in the room. Praise God. Hey, hey we love you, Pastor. Thank you for that prayer the other night. My God, uh, I was tired and driving and in for a long trip. And I know uh, mm -hmm. God's blessed me with many a pastor. But he's one that I know that if he gets my call, he's definitely praying. Well, that's why I was calling about you. We prayed for you to have a good, safe drive there you know guardian Amen. angels and a safe return home Praise God. but i couldn't find out if you made it back or well, not i understand so, right now all the phones are down so i was in uh <laughs> i was <laughs> kind of worried yeah and, and we're down i boy i've been running around like a chicken my head cut off so we were uh, calling and seeking and we made the devil mad but look what God done. God Amen. turned it around, took all this, made a blessing out of it. Amen. We are now building the Gospel Music Jukebox on building on its own land. Yeah. We are going yeah. satellite internet. Yeah. We're getting off of this uh, unreliable cable system, and we're going to the internet, and hopefully, well, I know it will be better service. It, it will be, because I can go out and turn the dish. <laughs> That's right. I can learn to angle that thing, you know, put it over here, put it over there. We want the strongest signal possible for the gospel music jukebox. Amen. All right, guys, we're down to about six minutes, and you guys know that I love you. I want to say a special prayer for you tonight. Uh, just... Thank you for tuning in, and thank you, each one. Thank you for being a rock tonight, each and every one that has obeyed the Lord. Know that I love you. Right now, if you would, bow your heads as we go to the Lord in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, God, tonight, as we come to you, thanking you for all these laborers that you have put in our lives here at the Gospel Music Jukebox radio program and project Reaching Out. Lord, you know, I couldn't do this by myself. I don't want to do it by myself. It's a body operation, dear Heavenly Father. And God, I thank you that you are in charge of the Gospel Music Jukebox radio program. May they always be liberty here for those that come, for those that call in to obey God. Lord, we don't go by man's creed or man's rules. We go by what saith the Lord. Lord God, continue to put it upon the heart of your people to step up and obey you. And Lord, please, tonight, God, put a special anointing upon those rocks and those little seeds, Lord, the, the one that gives a dollar, the one that gives a thousand. God, you, or whether it be a thousand or a million, God, you put it on their heart. But Lord, remember those five rocks. We've got three of them. Lord, those other two tomorrow night. We claim victory through for them. Lord, I ask you for those, whether they give a dollar or a thousand or a hundred, tonight that you would multiply their seed, Lord. I know they give asking nothing in return. God, they love you, and they just want to be a part of what you're doing. It doesn't matter where it's at. Your children love you, Lord, and we want to be involved in what you are doing and with the people you are doing it with. Lord, I want to thank you for placing these people, your children, your servants in my life here at the Gospel Music Jukebox Radio Program. Lord, tonight, comfort each one and guide them. Many are seeking and searching for answers in many different topics. Lord, tonight, give them that peaceful sleep and give them the answers to the questions that they've been asking. 
Lord, they have concerns, and they don't want to miss you. They don't want to miss your direction. Lord, they've been told from childhood all kinds of false teachings and stories and fables. Lord, this night, let them hear you and what you say clearly as you whisper into their ears. For, Lord, you said your sheep know your voice and no other voice will they follow. Lord, this night, continue to bless all the programs here at your radio station, the Gospel Music Jukebox, and Brother Willie, Lord, as he does the house of prayer, Lord God, anoint his ministry, anoint the people that listen to his program, that they would get involved and call in to his testimony line, and that they would be obedient unto you, Lord, that many souls be won and added into your heavenly kingdom, Lord. Lord, I thank you for my family. And Lord, tonight I ask for all of our families that have lost loved ones, ones that have backslidden on God, ones that have stepped out of your will. Tonight we ask that you send forth that Holy Ghost conviction drawing power. And Lord, let us receive the testimony that they are finding their way back to you somewhere, wherever they're at. Let that be their altar as they feel you touching them, as they feel you and your grace moving in their life this very night. Lord, let them cry out to you as they come to you like the prodigal son and say, I'm coming home. And Lord, we'll continue to give you the praise, the glory, and the honor for all things. And Lord, we ask tomorrow that you give us strength to make it through the work day and strength through the evenings as we work on your building up to time for the radio broadcast. And Lord, as always, take this radio broadcast that your will would be done through it. Lord, send people to help us fill these airways with your words to those that are lost out there in this world, that are dying, starving to death spiritually. Lord, continue to use each and every vessel that stops by here at the Gospel Music Jukebox radio program. And Lord, remember my wife Monday night. She's nervous, Lord, and, and give her that, that peace and that assurance as she has stepped up to help and do more here at the, at the program. And, and, Lord, we just continue to praise you for what you're doing. Take each and every one of us, your willing vessels, your children, continue to shape us, Lord, for we're the clay and you are the potter. And, Lord, for those little children that call in, put it upon their heart to continue to, continue to use that testimony line. Yes, like little Gracie, Lord, continue to bless her that she can be a light as school time is coming back. And my little grandchildren, that now that they get ready to go back to school, that they continue to let their light and their love flow as they go back into the school system that you and Camp Angels round about them. For they are our angels that you have given us. And Lord, we love you. We thank you, Lord, as we praise you and give you all the glory, the honor, and the praise, Lord, for you and you alone are worthy. We love you, Jesus. It is in our precious Lord and Savior's name, the only begotten Son of God, Jesus Christ, we do pray. Amen and amen. Know that I love you. Looking forward to tomorrow night. You two know you're welcome to come anytime. Be live here as our guest on the Gospel Music Jute Box, or as always, continue to call in. Bobby does. Yeah. <laughs> amen. He's, he's another faithful caller, and uh, hopefully we'll have that live testimony li line going well when we get the satellite. Till then, you have to utilize the testimony line. We don't have a live call-in number that is reliable. So please utilize the testimony number, 931-229-0768. Hey, even if we're off the air and you want to be one of the, that fourth rock, call the testimony line. Say, I want to be the fourth rock. I'll call you back sometime tonight or in the morning. We'll get the address, everything right. But you just make the check out to Evangelist Eddie Cheney, 219 Red Fox Drive, Crossville, Tennessee. Zip code 38571. Don't forget, if you want to be a seed, a seed of $25, uh -huh. we put four of those together. That makes the rock. We'll announce the four little seeds, and, and we got another rock. And uh, remember, we love you, but God loves you most. Obey.